after driving people around in a limo for many years, decided to turn my life around and move on to better things. Why is there a snowmobile in your house? Is this how the professionals do it? We got shamboozled. Break, 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 break. Boss man, dude, you just smoked the pile on. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there, man. I'm quitting. Okay, real quick, I'm here about five minutes early. I gotta run and get some supplies for my house doing a little project. Is that all right if I borrow the trailer? Yes, where are you going for that? It would be next to Morgan's Motors and the bakery. Perfect, perfect. That's why I was asking. Okay, man, this motorcycle over here, it's been leaking oil and oh, stuff. Oh, jeez, and... guys, I've been to Morgan's too often. It's not a good sign when you're heading to the auto repair shop over and over. I got some bad luck recently, but at least this one isn't mine. The reason why I shop at this hardware place, they have lumber and all that, is because you get to use your own forklift. You don't need a forklift license. This is a pretty small one, but they let you use it loaded on your own, and it's like the only place in town that does that, so it's really nice for just getting stuff done. Now, what's nice is they had a 50% off discount, so they were going to be 300, but it only turned out to be 150, so that was nice. There we go. Get her unstrapped real quick. The place is looking good. What I'm doing, I'm going to build a picnic table, and then I'm going to build like a workbench inside there i got one but it already ran out of space it's more storage right now i want one put a bench vice on it and actually like do work on it instead of just store things so i realize i haven't paid you yet for the parking garage let's go. come over here let's go dude i'm starting to get used to this all right here's 420 dollars oh not as good as yesterday but yeah it's still good yeah no dude 420 like not bad at all now what i need to do is get back into your truck and you're gonna be picking up a roller and a stump grinder. Give me the coordinates. I'll go pick them up. All right. I'll even send you the street name. How about that? I appreciate it. Finally. Guys, usually he's just like, hey, it's next to McDonald's. I'm like, what the heck? There's three McDonald's in town. All right. There we go. It looks like we're taking off. All right. The roller got situated. Okay. Still a little sloppy there, but guys, we're moving. We're good to go. Well, I guess first things first is we're going to need to take out this tree for sure. So I'll get cutting this down. Then we'll take out the stump. There we go. Clean up the branches. Get her all trimmed up here. Let's see, can the Kubota climb it? Come on, Kubota. There we go. All right, the tracks probably helped a bit there. Okay, we're going to knock out this stump. Don't know if we're going to take down that tree. We might end up taking down the tree, but for right now, we're just taking out this guy. Okay, it's kind of hard working on this slope. The skits here wants to keep sliding backwards. All right, I would say that looks pretty good. I think boss man would be happy. Okay, let's just... Here, this is probably a good spot to park it. There we go, shut her down. All right, I'm going to go get boss man, see what he thinks of it. Then we can get the equipment out of here because it costs money to rent it. Yo, boss man, where you at? Oh, there you are. What's up? I didn't see you blended in with the blue Mercedes. Uh, yeah, I'm done. You're come, done. Come take a look, man. All right, let's go check this thing out. Ooh, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works really good. And then I was thinking, if you're happy with it, well, uh, I better take those rental machines back here too. Oh, where's man? my roller? Oh, oh no, there's my roller. What did you do? I, I swear, man, I hit the parking brake and I parked it right up here, what? and it must have rolled down. You parked it on the hill? No, like on the top where it's kind of flat. Clearly not flat enough. Man, this is oh, no. so Oh, no. Hey, expensive. hey, hey. The engine's in the back. The engine is in the back. So we have a chance. The back is in the water, man. Well, I had it turned off. And so we don't know if it's going to start back on because it's not like it shut off on its own. Okay, how, how are we going to get this out of here? Well, I'm in the cab now and I can breathe. I'm actually There's doing no something. Way. There's no way you're going to be able to drive. Look at that. Out. The hazards work. We still got electricity. Man, the air intake what? is above water, too. What the heck? Just barely. You better be able to get this thing out. There we go. I this got her started. Coming. Okay. It might not run for long. Come on. Man, there's no way it's going to be Come able to get on. out. It's a roller. Get the tractor. Get the tractor or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where do I attach it? This is like the heaviest There's got to be a hook or something back there. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Look at that. Not even a scratch on her. All right, guys, the roller's working so far, and that's all that matters. I think if I get it to the rental shop, if I say, like, hey, nothing happened, it's all clear, and then, like, a month or two goes down, and they figure something out or something, they're probably going to blame it on somebody else. That's kind of what I'm banking on. Oh, wait, before we leave, boss man's got to pay me for today's work. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Hello. I'm going to need, uh, before I head out, I'm going to need some pay, man. I got to pay you for breaking my stuff? No, nothing's broken just yet. I just want to get paid for all the work that I did. That looks really good, don't you think? You are ridiculous. Okay, fine. I even seeded it down, so yep, grass should be growing yep, in a couple yep. months. Da, 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 da. I don't care. I hate that I have to pay you today. Okay. Uh, five dollars? Uh, yep. Five hundred. That works. Perfect. No, Thank no, you. No, 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 no. Here's... $223. Perfect. That works, man. All right, I'm going to bring that back. Yeah, and if, if there's any issues and they start charging me, I want to see that money right back in my hands. Hey, boss, man, I just got a customer ordered an X5. They want it in all black, so I just need your approval. Okay, yeah, if they're actually going to pay for it. Oh, they sure. already did, yep. It's ordered, paid for, 
and then I just said two weeks. Hopefully, we can get it before then. Can you come on my computer real quick? Just you have to approve it. All right, don't be looking. I gotta okay. put in my code. Yep. Okay, you're good. Here we go. We made it to Mama Joe's Diner, the best cooking in all of Goldcrest, right here, boys. Here we go. Not too busy this afternoon. It is about one o'clock, so the, the hopefully the lunch rush is, rush is kind of gone. They got good food in there. All right, got boss man a burger, and I got a burger as well. Let's take the long way home. They've made my food so fast. I gotta kill some more time here. And speaking of killing time, what the heck is that? Dude, that looks awesome. I think that that's an international. There's a for sale sign on the window. I didn't even see that. It's pretty small. All right, I'm gonna give that call, guy a call. Howdy, sir. My name's Spencer. I'm just calling on your Lodestar. The international you have for sale, 1600 Okay, it's still for sale. Okay, nice. You'll be here in 10 minutes. Perfect. Hey, Jeffrey. Oh, dang, man. You work a automotive job? Nice. It's probably where you got all the skill to build this thing. Okay, man. I am uh, very interested in purchasing it. All right, let's see if all the lights are working. Perfect. Oh, there's even rear lights. That is nice, Jeffrey. Nice touch. All right, let's go flashers. Oh, yeah. All right, Jeffrey, you mind? I'm going to take it on a spin. So I guess I didn't explain what my idea is. I kind of been wanting to start a tow truck company, but tow trucks are really expensive. And so this would be a good way to figure it out. Because a lot of times for our car dealership, we're needing people to tow or just different situations come. And it's like, geez, 250 bucks just to move a car a little bit. That looks really easy. I'm sure, it's a lot more work uh, and you have breakdowns and stuff. But heck, I'm going to start it. All right, Jeffrey, we got to talk some numbers, man. I know you said you were listening it for 12. You got a lot of money into it and time and sweat i understand that i won't take that away from you but i gotta offer you eight i gotta negotiate a bit man all right guys he's not taking eight all right man shake on 9500 and we got a deal oh you want it okay perfect 9500 i'll get some cash out of the out of my pocket here there you go jeffrey 9500 all right thanks man boss man it's been a little bit your lunch is cold man my lunch is cold yeah where have you been well like after i got the food at the diner mama joe she hooked me up right away and i was like hey i got some time to kill and anyway i saw this tow truck it's a old international uh lodestar 1600 so where are you going to be keeping this thing at your house uh, yeah i got i got two garage parts here we go websites made i filed for an llc have my insurance and everything ready to go and i create a bunch of like instagram social media pages so i can show off all my jobs and people can kind of follow me from there well it's 6 a.m and i just woke up from a call from the city that says they already got a tow job for me so let me explain what the heck's going on so this is a walking bridge not a driving bridge at most you could drive a four-wheeler over it which is like five six hundred pounds and it sounds like an older gentleman last night like at three in the morning i don't know what he was up doing i think he went to walk so he took a left and then he went uh he went down this path here he thought it was a road it was dark and by the time he realized hey i shouldn't be on this bridge it was starting to sink in on him and the boards were starting to break there it comes what's really nice too is we have two speeds this is the slow speed when you're just trying to go as slow as possible nice and easy and then you can speed it up one thing i don't have and i gotta talk to boss man about is guys i don't have a place to take these cars right now so i'm thinking i'll use the dealership as my central location all right we gotta drop it down here perfect Hey, what's going whoa, on, boss whoa, man? Whoa, whoa, What are you doing here? Uh, I can drive this now, too. Uh, I'm not what doing much. Doing? I'm just hanging out. No, no, no. What, why are you... It looks like you're leaving this thing here. Yeah, for right now. So I started the business. This is my first job. Can you can you spot me a parking spot or at least five for the next week or two before I figure out a place to take them? Take this thing to your house. I told you. If you want to do this, this is... I know this is just off the main it. road. It's nice and easy. People can see it from there and know what's going no, on. No, this thing looks terrible on my property. Okay, just one day. Man, if there's an offer for someone, if someone's looking to buy this, I'm selling it to them. This is the only one you're allowed to leave here. Okay, that works, man. I will uh, talk to you later. Oh, howdy, man. You got, you got some car problems? Yeah, looks like it. You're smoking a bit. All right, ma'am, it's going to be $150, okay? Perfect, thank you. Appreciate it. There we go. Winch it up. Looks good. And what all we're going to do is take it down to Morgan Motors. So it's just right down the way here. There we go. We are good to go. It's going to be a busy day today. My phone was blowing up all last night. But I got to run and talk to boss man. Let him know I'm not coming to work this morning. All right, boss man isn't out here. I don't see him anywhere. And he's not answering his phone, no text or anything. Okay, well, he's late to work by this time. Oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? All right, there's two cop cars there. There's another one. He, oh, look at this truck. Holy biscuits. Look at this. This looks really familiar. Wait a second. This Hummer looks really familiar. What? boss man what are you doing here oh no they called you yeah they called me they called me all last night and i i just oh, woke up now oh um what are you doing why are you at well, work 
This is where I live. Uh, welcome what? to my house. You, you never told me you lived here. Yeah, I didn't really want you knowing. You're not welcome to come to my door. Uh, anyways, what? so uh, there was a party here last night. Turns out I live on one of those party streets. And uh, the kids were out. And, well, you can see that they, they went a little crazy. Looks like somebody this rented is... a U-Haul for nineteen ninety five. It sounds like you can flip over a U-Haul and have a good time. Why is there a snowmobile in your house? Yeah. Exactly. That is my biggest concern. Why is there a snowmobile inside of my house? I don't know. Okay, boss man. Uh, I think this is you. I think you're trying to cover it up. Blame it on the kids. No, man. I did not ride a snowmobile in my house. It's not even snow. You look really tired. Did you get a good sleep last night? I, I got sleep. Don't worry about me, man. I need your help. You, the city's paying you for this stuff. Are you sure this isn't yours, man? I'm pretty sure. I know I that's your car man. for a fact. I know that's Steve's Helmer, isn't it? It does look like it. I, I will I will say there's Dude, definitely this is your Mercedes right here. Your red one. This is what you drive to work on Sundays. Dude, this is not mine. I don't know what you're talking about. Not at all. Okay. Totally not. There's just some similarities. See how she goes. We're lifting it up. I I should probably just drive at this point. Oh jeez, man, you're ruining that U-Haul. Dude, that it's upside down already. I don't think we make it any worse. Wait, is that a reindeer flying in the sky? Oh, there's a bunch of reindeer. Santa isn't in supposed to come yet. Guys, let me know in the comments. Is this boss man's doing? I mean, it's all his cars. It's in front of his house. It's in his driveway. I mean, what the heck? Is this how the professionals do it? Uh, this is how the pros do it. Yep. Mm, I see. Here, I'll try pushing it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you can, man. Oh, that's not doing anything. Come on, it should catch. There we go. All right, whose truck is this, man? I don't know. It's in a tree. It's in a tree. Is, maybe, is it maybe yours? Maybe it belongs to like a tree trimmer. Try not to break the tree when you pull it down, but if you have to, then... Uh, I'm just pulling. Well, it's, okay, there. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I didn't know you had a BMW motorcycle. Oh, what is this? Dude, this thing is mint condition. Heck, I don't know much about this racing, but I'm sure this isn't cheap. I totally forgot. I haven't gotten paid. So I'm going to talk to one of the cops, see if they know anything about it. Nobody's in that car. We'll see. Maybe they got the money for me. All right. Yep. He processed the payment through the city over the phone. Okay, nice. We made $1,500 from that job because there was so much damage. That was a lot of cleanup. Uh, before you go, where's my 50 bucks? Uh, talk to one of the cops. They just paid me. No, 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 no. I'm a wall. Okay, here you go. Here's 50 bucks, man. Thank you. Yeah, All you, right. you're very welcome for saving you and... Okay, see you at the I dealership. Th I think I'm taking the day off tomorrow. Hopefully nobody was at the dealership today wanting to buy a car. We weren't here to sell them one. Yeah, I, I put the clothes sign on unless you flipped it. I Yeah, I flipped it when I came in. Well, that's awkward. Boss man, what the heck is going on? Man, we got broken into last night and they oh. did us dirty. We got shamboozled. Look at this. We did, man. Look Holy at biscuits. what happened. No, not the Nothing. limo. Not the limo. <laughs> Dude, every single vehicle we had in here is destroyed. Where are all the vehicles in here? There's only three. I don't even know. Wait, uh, we have a security cam footage. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. We got camera in the front. We just had these installed. Oh, officer. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name's Spencer. Thanks for coming down. Bossman, how, how did you... You just showed up to work? Yeah, I showed up, and this is what it looks like. Our security system started sounding on my phone last night, but I didn't pay my subscription so all they do is make a noise they don't actually call the cops okay so it looks like this is the outside camera right the front one yeah yeah so they're coming in yeah two guys oh two people okay here police then... officer get over here come take a look and they go inside yeah okay we can't really see how they got in is the door uh, we'll look at it later yeah it looks like they just able to just open up real quick well, was the um, door was the door unlocked i don't know <laughs> That is for you to investigate, man. Okay, oh, so they're inside, and what, what? how are they? Like, I guess all the keys are here. They yeah. knew exactly what they were doing. You think it's an inside job? Could these be customers, like past customers or people who didn't like our prices? Maybe. I've been nice to everybody. Oh, it would have been you. They're all just going in the water now. Oh, they're smashing everything. Yeah, this isn't good, oh, man. Oh, no. What the heck? This is terrible, man. Everything is just destroyed. There's no way we're going to be able to sell any of these yeah that's all s destroyed good thing we got insurance and then oh they're coming back they're taking a car oh they left with one of them yeah yep they're leaving with the car dang it all right i can't watch anymore man yeah yeah let's turn this off okay officer uh i'll send you this footage but clearly Thanks, we dude. have a vehicle still out there and let's check out the pond yep we're gonna need a crane hey good thing oh. i got a tow truck 
Yeah, no, I guess that, that is true. Comes in handy. I told you it would. Is it even able, though, to pull this out? Like, these Heck are going to yeah. be full of water. Heck yeah, man. All right, see you later, officer. All right, man, you think they're going to catch him? Man, I think we need to go out and try finding this thing ourselves. I don't see it anywhere, man. Oh, no, nope, that's a dumpster. Wait, I'm getting a call from the police department. 911. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, answer, I didn't know answer. they called us. I, oh, geez. Okay, this is kind of cool. Yeah, hello, hello. Hello, uh, boys. Yep. I found your car. All right, you're on speaker. Tell us where it's at. Uh, so it's near a basketball court. It's right basketball across court? the street from uh, the Stanley K. The Stanley K. Curry. Stanley Is it K like damaged at all? Um, it's in a very interesting position. All right, man. We're gonna hang up. We're we're yeah. hightailing it there. Tell all Sounds your police good. officers not to pull us over. Okay, I'll see you guys all in right. a bit. Floor, come on, man. Get some air. Oh yeah, holy biscuits. Break, 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 break. Uh, no. Um. All right, it's worth it. Come on. Oh, is he standing on the coffee? Yeah, I think he is. He's awesome. What the heck? Look at yeah, that I, thing. I need to get a good vantage point to see if I can see the, see the criminals. Yeah, yeah. We love, we appreciate the effort, officer. Great, man. Good catch. Good catch. How did we not see that? We drove right down the main road. What I want to know is how did they even do this? All right. Tomator to the rescue. All right. Awesome. Took you long enough. It took me long enough. I had to sprint back. I'm gassed. All right, I'm not going to winch you. I'm just going to pull it. You're just going to... I'm ripping okay. it. Okay. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, watch oh. out. Right, okay, let me good. close the doors. Man, I don't want to tell you what to do, but you may want to shorten that cable. Jeez. I know. I'm just getting it through. I'm just getting it through. That way we got plenty of room here. Okay, I got the wheel straight. Hopefully that helps you. There we go. Yeah, it should. All right, I'd say that's good. Where do you want it? Uh, In the trash. Oh, watch out. Excuse me. I'm in the back here. All right, hold on. Driving like crazy. I think you're uneven with the weight there. I think that's why it's throwing it off. You calling me fat? There All we right. go. We made it. Thank you, officer, for the police escort. All right, boss All man. Right. We got to fish out those cars now. We have three cars in the pond. At the beginning of today, we only had two. Come on, boss man. Get out of there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. There you go. Nice. Oh, Tomater. Oh, Tomater. What the heck? Don't go okay, down, right. man. I'll, 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 I'll like step there we go the i released the winch real quick we got to get a few better we got to get some better grip here but yeah if you want to stand on the hood it might help weigh it down dude it's winching it so fast okay stop and i'm gonna drive forward here man i feel like your tow truck isn't strong enough i think it's caught up on the fence man come on tomater on the fence it's so strong that it popped a dang wheelie thanks for the help we got both of them up bmw and well they're both bmws what do you say we go get your car now I think that is a great idea. Good work, boss man. That was a good swim. That was that was like a 50 meter underwater swim. Yeah, and this thing's gonna be draining out water for quite some time. Boys, I have some good news. Yeah, what is it? Oh, what is yeah. it? We caught the man. Yes. We caught both of them. Both of them. High They're five, both in the station. Up top. Nice. Do I not get a high five? Yeah. I was one of up top. Them. So they were down by some random farm, like, and they were just like dancing on the cars. It made no, like, the car that what? was still stolen. They must have been like, making TikToks or something. I'm gonna get this back to the dealership, dude. That's good news. We should have get insurance money. We got the bad guy. Well, they caught the bad guys. And we got all the cars out of the water. Yeah. So I'm gonna start ordering new vehicles once that money comes in, and Heck yeah. obviously we're done work for the day. So thanks for the help. All right, there's a semi trying to pull into our dealership. Boss man, what the heck's going on? Who's this guy? Hello, hello. Oh, he came. Awesome. Dude, that truck is that truck is so cool. A cab over American with a sleepover, triple axle. Holy biscuits. Yeah, you want to know something cool? This is going to be ours at the end of the day. What? Really? Yes, sir. But here, let's talk to Steve over here. Hey, how are you guys doing? Doing good, man. Uh, yeah, you had some troubles pulling in there. Is this your first day on the job or something? Yeah, it might be. I'm still uh, getting used to this. Wait, big, big really? Yeah. You look like a seasoned vet besides your drive skills, man. I love I love the sideburns. This might be a little bit of a bumpy ride. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay. Yeah, just don't hit anything. Sounds like this is going to be our semi by the end of the day, so don't scratch it out. Swing a bit wider, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Straight it out. Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, oh, that's like nails on a chalkboard right there. Wait, okay, hang a left. Hang a left. You still alive back there? Yeah, I'm holding on. I got shooken up a little bit. Hey, tell you what, man. I'm getting off. Too many turns coming up. Just keep going. I'll walk. Okay, you got a tree and you're- I don't see no tree. Okay, yeah, I didn't That's see it either. That's the problem. I didn't tell you, yeah. boss man, but I ordered this- Mach-E. Yep, the Mach-E, the Mustang, all electric SUV. Big hoss, pork chop. If you want to jump out, I'll drive her to back and you can take Sounds a good. BMW or Ferrari, whatever one you want. Oh, yeah, oh. we'll let him use a BMW. I think I might have to take the Ferrari. 
Are you able to drive that thing? Oh, yes, I can. Spencer, it's on you uh, if he crashes it. Okay, fair enough. I told you guys I don't crash. Look at that. He's swinging wider with the Ferrari than he ever did in a semi with like a 50-foot trailer. Like, what the heck? Let me know out of the five cars we brought. So a Mustang, a Mercedes, the Ford Bronco. We have the BMW. I think it's a 5 Series. It's it like really kitted out, a lot of modifications, and then the Ferrari. Which one out of all five would you rather have? Pork chop. Hey, no more driving in the yard. Get her parked. What? Oh, fine. Come on, man. Let's get the Bronco out of here. Oh, look at the suspension. That's awesome. Steve, you're going to get paid more than Spencer what? here. So. Yeah, that, that's exactly he, what he I want to do. He drove the semi at the beginning. That's true. He did drive the other way. I am the one that gave you the semi. All right. Cool. I see right. a few scratches on it, though. But anyway. No, no. There are no scratches. There are no scratches. Are, are you guys are you guys done or? Yeah, we're, we're done. We're, Give me my money. Free. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Steve, here's two thousand. Oh, and thank Spencer, you. here's one hundred and fifty. What? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Here's one thousand five hundred. Yes. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah, today was a good payday. You guys worked hard. That was awesome. Steve, if you ever want a job, let me know. I don't know what it would be since you suck at driving. It but... would not be hey, moving hey, around hey, cars. That's hey, for sure. I, yeah. Hey, that's are rude. you good? You good with the lawnmower? Spencer oh. likes to break them. Of course. Yeah. I'm good with anything. I'm a pro at every single thing in this world. Oh, you guys are both like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll 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 be in in touch. No worries. All right. All right. See you later, big cat. See you later. Have a good one. All right, boss man, boss man. I got the Lamborghini Urus and the Ferrari 488. Where do you want them? Awesome. Yeah, we'll have them right in here. That will be perfect. And then I got to give you some money right now oh. because. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that go. sounds good. Yeah, six thousand dollars. I haven't been really paying you recently. Oh, holy bit, six. How long has it been since you last paid me? Well, between working here and the parking garage, it adds up. Today, we're going to try and make as much money as we can because I have more stuff planned today. We're going to see how much money I can make, boss man. Maybe I can buy out your dealership here. Uh, I don't think you're going to have that kind of money, but yeah, I'm going to head out and later today, I'm going to send you a text message. I just have a little job I need to do, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, so that sounds good. Make sure to lock up before you leave. You aren't taking your Chevy, right? Okay, yeah, take this truck. Yeah. See you later, man. Don't take your Chevy. I, I, why does it matter? It, it does. Uh, just go. I'll tell you later. Oh, biscuits and gravy, guys. I just got a text from a guy asking where his golf cart's at. And that's not good because I think our customers are going to be here in 15, 20 minutes. I might have to delay a little bit. Anyway, I'm renting out this golf cart to a guy for like three weeks for a thousand bucks. Heck, I paid 500 bucks for this thing. So I think today we're going to be making good money. I totally whiffed and forgot that I'm renting this out. So I got to drive a few miles down the road, drop it off at his house. Sounds like he's going to be using it. I'm not too sure what for, but he's renting it out. I'm not going to complain. And we got the trailer hooked up. Drop the ramps. This is like, oh, okay, those ramps are a little overpowered. Holy cow. Well, that's good to know, guys, because if I ever need to change the tires, I just do that. There we go. Real quick, guys, we're going to get it unstrapped. And this is the address. Not too sure where he wants it. I'm just going to put it in a car. All right, let's put it in the front yard. See, so help it over the curb. They don't really have a driveway. I mean, really, where else would you put it? Hi, ma'am. Yep, here's your golf cart. Here are the keys. And then I just need you to sign this that I dropped it off and that you have insurance. Okay, perfect. And then it'll be $1,000. Yep, card works. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good... Uh, I'll be back here in about two weeks. We need to floor back to the shop and get there before our customer does. Oh, no, unboxing, guys. Okay, double lines. We made it. Here we go. I don't see a car parked in our parking lot. Oh, somebody's inside. Okay, that must be the customer. Howdy, howdy. Welcome to the dealership. Hi, ma'am. My name is Spencer. I'm the head salesman here. And here is your Ferrari that you were looking at. I, I'll grab you the keys real quick. Here are the keys. Got your water bottle. All right, ma'am, you're good to go. Just be careful backing it up. Remember, if you crash it, you buy it. And she's back. How was it? Sounds like you were getting on it pretty quick, man. That's awesome. All right, you'll take it. List price is 125 Heck, okay, that works good. All cash, huh? You have a good day now. Thank you for stopping by. And if you got any issues, let us know. All right, guys, she paid 125 cash. And I get to keep 10 for commission. So we'll pocket that right there. Put the other in the safe. 115. Boss man should be happy. So far, I, we made 6,000 for boss man, 1,000 from the golf cart rental, and 10,000 there. We're at 17,000. And I just got a call for a tow job here. Sounds like somebody in an electric vehicle lost charge or out of battery. And they are stuck. So we got to tow them to a 
charging station, which I got to figure out where one is around here. Heck, I should probably know where a charging station is because we sell it an electric car. All right, let's get lights on here. This is kind of scary corner. Good thing it's only 20 mile an hour speed limit and we're all hooked up. Perfect. Nice to have a little tow rig here. Looks like they still have enough battery to turn the flashers on, but I guess not enough to drive. I was on the phone with the customer and I asked where the closest charging station was. And there, they said there's one by the Central Valley parking garage. Here we go. Coast is clear, which that park garage is the one Bossman and I own. All right, I released the rope, so we're going to try and get the car as close as we can. All right, now let's winch it right up to here. Oh, yeah, this will work for sure. And then disconnect the winch and yeah, yeah, that'll reach. All right. Oh, it's charging. There we go. Customer just paid. That was, that was $500 charge. I charge a lot more for that because it's the electric vehicle. And then also I'm charging a lot more because, hey, we established ourselves as a business. We're getting a lot of customers, a lot of demand, and I can charge more for our business. Today, I have a hot air balloon rental. If you guys remember, we did hot air balloon rides. That business has just been kind of starting up here recently, and we're getting more rentals. So I'm charging somebody $2,500 for one hot air balloon for the week. There we go. I use the forklift. Typically, Bossman and I can load it together, but hey, by yourself, it's pretty awkward. Here we go. Let's get turned around. That was nice. They unloaded it for me, and hey, they already got the torch going. They're getting going today. Well, that was another 2500 bucks. That was nice. They had cash. Uh-oh, Bossman just texted me. Uh, let's see. He wants me to drive a forklift somewhere. Dang, man, I've been driving and hauling everywhere. No big deal. Can't complain. We're doing good today. And the forklift strapped down, ready to go. Bossman sent me directions. Looks like it's Mama Joe's Diner. Yo, man, where do I go? All right, he said anywhere. Well, good thing our forklift is kind of off-road capable. Hey, there's some deer right there. I think we found some more reindeer, guys. They like to fly around. All right, man, thank Yeah, you do those real quick. I'll drop the ramps. All right, it's all yours, man. I'll let you unload her. Perfect. Thank you, 250. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. But anyway, we're going to head back to the dealership, and I got a surprise for boss, man. Hey, man, here are the keys to the car. I just need you to sign a few things, and... Yeah, hope you, hopefully you have fun tonight on your prom, right? Heck yeah, man. Like the mullet too, man. You're rocking it. All right, you should be good to go. Just be careful with it. No burnouts, no eating or drinking inside the vehicle besides for water. And uh, yeah, just be easy on it. Thank you. Thousand buckaroos. You, you get one night with it, man. Well, guys, I just rented out boss man's favorite car to a high school kid for a prom date. Hey, at least the kid looks cool. And there we go. We got everything moved out of my house slash garage. I'm going to quickly just kind of power wash everything off. Get all the cobwebs, dust, dirt. Make this really shine because the siding, I love it. We got like the rock veneer and then the really cool boards on the side. So I'll get it all cleaned up. But the reason why we're cleaning her up, guys, I got to show you something real quick. She's for sale. And so I'm thinking about listing it for 25, 30, somewhere in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of sick and tired of sleeping in a garage. And we're going to try and upgrade. But for now, between us, so oh, boss man. Man, you're late for work. What are you doing? I was just cleaning up my house. Did you see the sign? The sign? What sign? It's for sale. Oh, you're, oh, you're selling? Yes, and you were the one that said you always wanted to buy this because it overlooks your property and you're mad at me for building here. I am interested in this. What are you, uh, what are you selling for? This Whatever is... the market decides, so shoot me a price. Hmm, let me see. I spent like a hundred grand on it, so it's pretty expensive. Wait, where are you going to live? Uh, I'll just get a hotel for a few days or weeks between me finding a new place to live once I get this sold. Okay. Well, I will say I am interested in buying this. I'm going to have to check online at some numbers or whatever. But... I've been getting kind of bad. I'm always late to work and Bossman's getting kind of frustrated. So I think I'm going to be even more late to work now that I'm going to live further away. I don't think I can get any closer. But also Bossman asked where I'm going to live in between. I'm actually going to live in the sleeper in the semi truck. So I'll be sleeping in the cab over for at least a few days or weeks or whatever. So I guess I'll be able to be to work early always when I when I'm in there. All right. Are you ready to work? Yes, yeah, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Finally. Okay. So I got a new mower because our current yes, mower. Yes, you got a new mower? Yeah. The current mower, I, I love it. It, it has a does a great job, yeah. but you know, it's it, it, room for improvement. Okay. If you sell the mower, reason. if you sell the mower, just please keep the tractor, man. That thing is awesome. Okay. okay. Maybe I'll sell it to you. Yeah. I'd, I'd buy it. How much? Yeah. I don't know yet. Let me think of it that one. Oh, but, by the way, how much for the parking garage today? Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, up, big cat. I was hoping you would forget. Here is, ooh, $523. You keep $523 and I keep the tractor. Shake on that it. That track, what? Come on. Okay, okay. You know what? Fine. There Fine. you go. Yes. But you don't own the mower, just a tractor. Yeah, just a tractor. 
You can do okay. what you want with the mower. And there she is. Let's pick her up. Holy biscuits. I thought this was going to be like a residential zero turn. This is a Z994R. It's a diesel. Oh my goodness. In a 72 inch deck. Like, does it get any? I think you can get like a 90 inch deck or something crazy like that. Oh, it's got the airless tires or whatever. What do you, um, the wheels or whatever you call them? The tire wheels. All right, floor it. Sometimes we bottom out on this trailer. Dang it. I bottomed out. We're spinning rubber. Oh no, I, now I can't reverse. I went too far forward. Come on, come on. Maybe if I can use the forks. There we go. Floor it, floor it, floor it. Nice, there we go. Okay, excuse me coming through. Just slide underneath. It's a little back heavy. There you go, that's looking good. All right, now just lift up. There you go, come back. Oh, come on, man, you're hurting it. And nice, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna drop the trailer real quick. Heck, should I start mowing or we got more work to do? I didn't do mowing, but I actually want to talk to you about your property. Oh, yes. Let's go. So, yeah, get that thing parked and then come to my office. All right, guys, I had a feeling boss man was going to buy my property because he was so mad when I bought the land. He didn't know it was for sale. And then I bought the land and quickly built something there. So let's see. We're going to try and get some big money out of him. All right, man, what are you thinking? All right. So I, I went back to your property, took another look, and I am interested in it. Yes. Uh, I don't oh, yep. necessarily need it, though. So... Well, you just don't want just, somebody else buying it and then they're overlooking your dealership. They can throw marshmallows down at you, water balloons. You know, it just gets annoying. Yeah, I know what I want and don't want. You don't got to tell me. Uh, oh, yep, absolutely. But wait, did you say water balloons? Yeah. It, okay. I have an offer for you. How does 15,000 sound? That sounds terrible. I spent 10,000 building it, man. The inflation going on. Yeah, you're making 5,000. That's pretty good. That's terrible. All right. Okay. Give me another okay, okay. One. What, what number are you thinking? 35, uh -huh. 500. Nah, I'll stop you right there. No way I'm going that high. All right. Um, See you later. Eight. Stop. Is that state? Come okay. back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm shutting this door on you. Okay. Uh, What about 18,000? All right. See you later, man. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. stay. Okay. Man, come, you're come you're starting to, to hurt my feelings. Counter. You're disrespecting. Come to, counter. come to me with the counter offer. 32 and a half. Ridiculous. 32 Bro, and a half. I, 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 I dropped Get out of that ballpark. You know that's ridiculous. 29, 99. 99. Bro. Twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I'll do twenty thousand. Twenty five thousand. Twenty five will 20, shake on it, dude. I came down more than just as much as you. You came to me with like the most absurd thirty five number. I came down ten thousand. You're at fifteen. You come up ten thousand. Twenty five shake on it. I'll do twenty two. I'm not going any higher. All right. See you later. Okay. Keep it on the market. All right. No worries. See ya. See ya. I'm quitting. Uh, oh, then you're unemployed. That's right. I'll sell my house for enough to live forever. Bro, that thing's not worth that much. Come on, 25, 24. I'm not doing... I came down. 22 and a half. That's the highest I'm going. No, no way I'm going higher. I already went down more than you. No, you came to me with a ridiculous number. You came at me with a disrespectful number. Okay, 22 and a half. I'm stealing one of your cars. 24, let's go. 22 and a half. 23. You wouldn't even be able to afford that. 23, dude. I just went down 2,000. You went up 500. Fine, 23. All right, shake on it. Yeah. Okay, you do want the money or dirt bag? Yeah, I want the money. All right, pass me the, the keys and everything too. Yeah, you got it. All right, you have all your junk out of there. Uh, yeah, should be good. Anything that's left, you'll find useful. Okay. Do I gotta work anymore? Or... It would be nice for you to do a little bit of work. Okay, what if you I'll cut jump the on lawn the around the house. Yes, sir. Cut the lawn around the house. Now that I own that. Okay, will do. You, you gotta pay me for it though. Okay, you you are the most annoying employee possible. Asking for me to pay you? Like, come on. Here we go. Let's get mowing. The 72-inch deck will make it like this. This is going to be so easy, man. I had a, I think that was a 36-inch pull-behind mower deck that we had on the articulating. Uh, it was technically four-wheel drive tractor. Hey, uh, so where's my Chevy? Chevy to the levee, but the... Uh, no, no, no. Where sorry. is this thing? Good question. He was supposed to be back... What? This morning who, with it. Who's he? Or this afternoon. Um, I'm going to have to give mean? him a call. It's just who? a guy, 16-year-old, just got his license, and what? he borrowed it for prom. Under who's authority? Hey, you made a thousand. I, I made a thousand bucks. I'll give you a hundred. Here you go. Why Why do I still have you as my employee? All right, man. See you later. Oh, you got to pay me for the mowing. 50 bucks. Here you go. Here's Thank 50. you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I slept great. Already made me myself a cup of coffee. Sleeping in the cab over. 
It's pretty nice. Hey, boss man. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good, good. You're here pretty early. Yeah, I am. You are too. Did you take the back entrance? Yeah, the Uber just dropped me off. I've been staying at the hotel down on 3rd Street. Anyways, um, I have to actually give you some money because the parking garage. So here's $560. Yes, sir. Thank you. And then last night you texted me, said you told me to remind you to tell me something. Yes. So what are we missing in here? Take a look, right? Like, we have lots of vehicles, but there's yep. a certain vehicle class that we just don't have. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's trucks. I've been telling you this for weeks. Yes, man. Of course. It is trucks. So, I was thinking we should get some trucks in here. Okay. Now, yep. A lot of our customers I, have been asking about them, too. A few people have been looking for, like, the new F-150s. And, you know, we're, we sell these crazy cars, but crazy trucks. I always thought that would be a good idea. Yeah, so I'm thinking we like scavenge the internet to find the best trucks we can. I want all sorts of trucks, whatever's going to get people's attention. Okay. And also, I have this proposition, okay? Yep, yep. So you have your like pickup truck over here, right? Yeah, my 3500. Yeah, yeah. So it, it looks pretty good, I'd say, right? It, it gets good. the job done. Yeah. What if you upgrade this and I'll cover half of that price, but the deal is that you keep it out front during the work days? Yeah, that works for sure. What kind of upgrades were you thinking? A lift kit, maybe a little bigger tires. Yeah, Gosh, whatever, it's a single cab, so kind of limited. Yeah, whatever we upgrade with it, it just make it look good. Okay, so let's check the internet and see what we can find. And four. All right, boss man, I found something pretty good on Craigslist. An old guy selling a fire truck. I really couldn't find anything to sell for here. I think this would just be a project for me. And then we kind of go through the process of restoring something, paint, getting the engine working back in order, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So it's a full-on fire truck? Yeah, like ladder truck. Well, I ended up just taking an Uber. Thanks for the ride, man. So here's the fire truck. And I got to knock on the guy's door. But yeah, this is it. Mayberry Fire Department, Tower 1. And we did it. 2,500 buckaroos. I'm from 2,000. Because he said it had a few more issues than he thought before he listed it. And 2,500 bucks. Heck yeah. Here we go. Dude, this road is so busy. Oh, okay. Screw it. I'm going. I'll just put my lights on, act like I'm a part of the fire department. That's probably not a good thing. All right. Well, I'm going to call Steve, our mechanic, and have him come down and take a look at the truck. Hey, Steve, this is Spencer. Could you, could you stop down by the dealership? I just need to take a look at something. Oh, of course I can. All right. No problem. It's just getting around lunchtime. I, I'll Here, I'll grab you Jimmy John's real quick. That way you have a sandwich for you when you get here. Sounds absolutely beautiful. Number Thank you. Number five work? Yeah, yeah. Number five. Number All right. Five. That's my four. Goal Perfect. I'll see you. I just ordered Jimmy John's on the app and it's already here. Dude, Jimmy John's freaky fast delivery. That guy was sprinting here. Steve, what's up, my guy? Is this your new hey, truck? Boy. Oh, yes. It is new. Man, what is this? That's a oh, wife hauler if I've ever seen one. Holy yeah, do you guys God. like it? Wait, this, so the six doors? Yes, sir. Here, jump in. Show us how it works. Dude, that thing is lifted. So basically, these doors are insane and they're butterfly. Butterfly doors. That's oh, like for sure. Lamborghinis. It's got yeah. the wings. Look at this. Suicide door right there. Might be my favorite car I've ever driven in my life. Ballpark. Like, what are you kind of thinking for this thing? If you were to sell it, hypothetically speaking. If I were to sell it, I don't know, maybe like 25, 30K. Did, did you hear this? Yeah, that was pretty good. How, like how much you got into it? Like, I'm sure you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, I'm sure. But I did. But, you know, I've been driving it for a while. Oh, pass right. it on down to the next generation okay all right i don't well, know if you're that much older than us but so like if i had like 30 ready to go right here right now you would accept that right yeah 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 spencer you think what i'm thinking yeah yeah do it man do it dude, okay, we can okay, flip okay. it for 50 easy yeah oh yeah dude like right away okay yeah. you have yourself a deal shake on it fantastic all right i parked it around back you guys get everything squared away yep yep we got all the paperwork done and everything so yeah nice he's ready to go with your fire truck if that's his anything got to get out of there uh no that's it perfect thanks steve we will uh talk give me a call once you got an idea of when it'll be done all right sounds good See talk to you soon there we go she's all washed up i'll take some quick pictures lighting is perfect right now he's moving the limo and we're thinking this thing's tall enough but hey if we get it on that ramp there we're gonna be turning so many heads people will be like oh that's awesome here we go we're gonna see if we can get up on this thing oh yeah holy biscuits there we go okay i think that's perfect right heck yeah right there man good morning boss man you need a coffee 
Oh, good morning. You're on time again. Nice one. Yeah, if you want to grab me a coffee, that would yeah, be great. I'll get those going in the break room. All right. So they called, and your fire truck is ready. Yes. So Nice. Steve got her done. Yeah, pretty quick, too. I didn't expect it to be done this fast. But also, before I forget, yeah. I'm going to give you some money. Oh, yes, the parking garage. Here you go. Dude, that is paying so good. 650. Score one from the boys back home. Okay, is the fire truck uh, able to drive? It's drivable. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it is drivable. And I was thinking, too, uh, since it got done so fast, and we talked about it the other day, your truck getting it worked on, right? Yeah. So what if you go bring that down now? And I was quoted $10,000 for it, all the work. Okay. Okay. You got all the work like figured out with lift, tires, suspension, all that Everything. stuff? Everything. Okay. Yes. Every single thing. So as I said, I'll pay for half of it if you're down, pay the other half. I'll do that. Here, how about this? You don't tell me. Don't tell me what it's going to look like and all the things you planned out. I just want to be surprised when I pick it up. Okay. That works. So yeah, when you go here, I'm going to give you 5,000 now. Then. Yeah, that'd be great. Here you go. Perfect. And then, yeah, so just give them that 10,000 and hopefully we'll be ready pretty quick. Okay, that that works good. I'll just drive my 3,500 down and then I'll flip it out with the fire truck and yeah. All right, so see you soon. Two. Let me know if there's any issues. 10-4. There we go. Got all the paperwork signed for this. Handed over the $10,000 for the 3,500. That kind of hurt, but only five of it was mine. There we go. Flashers work. Head lights work oh yeah check that out that's pretty cool and there we go let's head out when are they gonna have the truck done they said two or three days and i was like wow that was quick but i guess at the start of the week they're gonna get like three guys working on it wow yes steve does a good job at everything and he does it really quick I, i'm definitely a fan and remember like in the past he was saying he was kind of interested in maybe working here someday, yeah so who knows maybe maybe he'll join the team yeah he seems like a nice guy i would work with him but okay i was thinking before you head off for the day or whatever can you let me just knock out some of this fence because at some point here i do want to expand but we're gonna need to like a order a bunch of equipment and stuff but i just want to get this white fence kind of knocked out just this back part now that you bought my house you want to take it down is that what you're saying yeah I, I think so because man if we can expand out like we can really branch off the dealership and it would be looking really good oh geez i need some coffee this morning did not sleep too good last night all right man good morning good morning let's get to work good morning all right like always i'll give you some money and they called and the truck's ready all right here you go i haven't really paid you for the past three days actually so here's 1500 oh, give me christmas that's a good one awesome okay Go get that thing. I want to see it here. I'm just so looking forward to this. I hope you like all the changes that I had him do. All right. I think $10,000 was spent well on this. Wow. I would guess this would be 20,000. I mean, the tires alone got to be a thousand a piece. The lift kit. Look at the drivetrain. It's still four wheel drive. Holy cow. That looks a little sketchy that it's, you know, going all the drive shaft is all the way up here. Then goes all the way down there. But oh, look at the leaf springs. Holy biscuits. Well, let's get the paperwork real quick. And thanks, Steve, for doing all the hard work. I really can't believe it's mine. He gave me the keys. We're going to crawl in there, climb in there, whatever you call it. Here, I got to probably jump up on the tire. Look at the hitch. Holy cow. All right, jump up on the tire, on the cab, and then, all right, we'll get in. Here we go. First start. Look at the interior. Oh, there we go. He said he took the interior out of the brand new uh, Ford Super Duties, and it looks good. Then he color matched it and everything. All right, boss man, come out. Come out, man. Come take a test drive. Holy smokes. Check her out. I knew I got big tires. I didn't realize they were this big. Yeah, these are for like tractors. Dude, we should do like some crazy off-road test or like some monster jam competition or something. Yeah, no, definitely. We're, we got to take this out of town someday and really test out its abilities. All right, up and over the bridge. See if we can get some air. Oh, Watch there's a out. car. Oh, okay. come on, man. Let's drive over him, man. Oh, there we go. Here, we just got to make some room. Oh. All right, oops. I think I saw a road here. Oh, wrong turn. Oh, well. See how this does over train tracks? Heck yeah. There we go. I think the uh, train conductor wouldn't be too happy if you saw this. Wait, did you go over the train tracks yet? Yeah, I did. I... You can't even feel them, man. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. Cause yeah, it was a smooth ride. Do you think we could drive into the lake here and see if she floats with all the air in the tires? Like, we do have a pretty high exhaust. Yeah, give it a shot. Don't go too far. You don't want to break here, the Here, we'll just... Okay, no, no. It's it's good. It's not. It's not floating. <laughs> that goes really steep. People are going to be looking at the dealership now. That's for sure. Yeah, if this doesn't get someone's attention, I don't know what would. 10-4. All right, boss man. Thanks for setting that up and paying half for it. But yeah, it should be a great shop truck now. At some point, we should almost sell it. I bet we could get good money for it. Man, if someone places an offer that you're happy with, like it's, it's, it's up to you, you know? As long as I get my return for what I spent, then... 
All the rest you can pocket. All right, Vanessa, here's the spare key. Thank you for your, your business. And if you ever need anything, you got my number. And there we go. Another car sold. So we're starting the week off strong. And that was our Ford Bronco. We got paid $10,000 for that one. Because that those Ford Broncos, they ain't cheap. All right, boss man, got her sold. That was good. Yeah, nice work. That was a quick and easy sale. All right, so now obviously I bought that land recently from you. Thank yeah. you again for uh, that. Thank you for paying overpriced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't got to keep talking about that anyways. So we got to smooth all this out. I want to get this as flat as we can. Obviously, there's a huge hill, so we're going to have to have a slope somewhere. But we can definitely expand out, and then we're going to be building some kind of area for like a repair shop beyond that we'll just make some space maybe for your tow yard are we taking out this light pole we might have to just because this bulge in the mountain like it's just not needed here i don't think my chainsaw is going to take it down let's get to work we're gonna have it done by the day you said that's what i'm hoping because we need to be staying open as much as we can so i want you right now to drive down and pick up some of this equipment we got a roller we got a skid steer there's lots of stuff so just go grab that and come back as fast as you can all right well, let's turn her over here. Come on, big girl. It's been a minute. Come on, she's chugging. I've been sleeping in this thing for like the past two weeks, but I really haven't driven it anywhere. All right, we gotta swing a little wider than that, Spencer. Jeez, rookie truck driver here. Sorry if I take out the stop sign, everybody. All right, we're good. We just got a little curb rash there. Looks like he's got the stump grinder. Should be able to fit both these easily on there. If we need to make room, I can always put the stump grinder on the uh, step up deck. Get her loaded up here over the three axles. Oh, it's tipping a little bit. I didn't think I was off that much. And that should work like a glove. There we go. That looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think of the TLX. 9,000 were passing cars and we're fully loaded down. Just rolling coal here. All right, here's the engine brake. Not even in the brake. She's using the engine brake. I really wonder what boss man was doing when we were gone. I mean, we were gone for a solid 30 minutes. All right, all the equipment's here. What have you done? What have I done? You see that big pole that used to be here? Oh, jeez. Okay, actually, that is, uh, how'd you get it down? Man, I called over my friend Timothy, and he helped me get that thing gone. He has uh, a big, like, crane. Old Timothy. Yeah, I was going to say, you, oh, could yeah. see, you could use tow mater if you need. You could use the fire truck with the ladder. Honestly, I had that thought, but I didn't want to use it without getting your permission first that's so. right thank you thank you yep there you go oh, by the way uh, another high schooler kid is gonna come to rent your uh rent your chevy here for prom are you kidding me why why uh like, it's good money they, i i try i up the up the rate two thousand a night so i get half that yep all right and there we go oh by the way boss man where's my money for the parking garage it's been a couple days He's got the money. Let me see the money. All right. Here Show me go. the money, boss man. Here is seven hundred dollars. That's what I like man, to see. Remember, like one of the first few days we were open, what we were making like two hundred bucks each. Yeah. Now we're making way more than that. Now we got that passive income or whatever people call it, but we have some income that then we can start expanding, start doing crazy stuff like this, and make even more. Yeah, man, it's gonna be great. Eventually, hopefully, you can even buy another tow truck. That's right. Yeah. After we do this expansion and maybe I get a tow truck like shop, or we're going to create, can I use the shop area for my tow truck business in the short term? Yeah. I'm thinking we'll kind of like expand out and make a little section for you. It won't be okay. huge, but it, it will work in the meantime. And if you need yeah, more space, meantime. you know, we can, we can always figure that out. Exactly. All right. Pull your chainsaw out, big, big hoss. We got to get to work here. All right. Take it out of my pocket. Yeah. I always keep mine in there. Sometimes it gets too big, leaks oil, but otherwise it's not too bad and there we go we're chomping away we got three stumps take out maybe four we'll get the roller we got excavators coming oh he okay a lot more than four he's taking down trees way back there well we'll be busy today i think it's roller time boss man i did all the tree work where the heck oh geez you already took out the fence yep the fence is gone i just left this one little piece because i, I kind of just like it i don't know maybe we can like i forgot the mower was up here yeah, yeah, that is up here. So what piece go, do you like? It's this little piece back here. What like piece? maybe we'll make some like memorial for the house that used to be here. Oh, the fence. Oh yeah. yeah. I think you're just saying you can't. Get, you you probably just can't get that out. That post looks pretty strong. Okay, may, maybe that's true. Well, okay, it's in the cement. Like how did they even do this? I built it. My bare no, hands. You paid, you paid someone to build it. I'm gonna have to call Steve or something to get rid of that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this back to the shop so we don't run her over. Oops, there's a log. And when you come back up, grab that roller. Will do, big cat. I'm not driving down the road with that. Some crazy guy like honked his horn and like threw his hand out the window like I wasn't supposed to be on the road. And I was halfway on the shoulder. Some people, I can't believe, what? Where's the house? Man, I got rid of it. Got rid of it. it. And all that's left yeah. is the Segway? Yeah. 
Yeah, you, I, I knew you forgot this thing here. You told me, like, no, I got everything. No, you didn't. Well, there, it can, uh, it's still mine, though. I was going to say it could be yours, but. Uh, okay. It, what if we share it? Yeah, it'll just be the shop segue. Okay, that sounds good. All right, let's get Platinum's stuff out. And yeah, let's get her done. All right, whatever you do, boss man, do not go in front of the roller. That is the number one rule. I won't go in front. No worries. You ever seen the movie Austin Powers? Of course I have. Yeah, you don't want to end up like him. All right. Here we go. We're flattening her down. Jeez, this thing weighs go. a million pounds. I'm flattening down rock. Yeah, I don't know how you're able to do this, but good work. There we go. Just like this, guys. Heck yeah, we're going to go all the way back there, and then the shop will be somewhere up in front of us. Well, guys, we got it built. I'll show you the outside in the second. We're pulling in the roller. It's got an oil leak. We're going to try and fix it here. All right, pull her in. Boss man, dude, you just smoked the pile on. Oh, no. You bent it. I just built that. Um, Yeah. Look at that it. It's crooked. What were you doing? Straight. I was just opening the door. I I didn't realize how like wide this thing was. And All right. Pull that thing in. We got a leaking tire and leaking oil. Okay. Here we go. I'll try not to hit the building. Well, guys, this is our new building, our automotive center. We're going to have a full service and auto repair in there. We even have like a little waiting lounge, but mostly everybody will be in the dealership. The reason why we're building this is people can bring their cars in. We can work on them, service them, do the warranty. And then when they're waiting, they can come into the showroom and we can do some sales with them. And we're going to have Steve here so we can build our own cars, work on them, do lifts, all this stuff like that. Yeah, man, this thing turned out great. And obviously this is just the start, right? When, once we're making some more money from all this, then we'll definitely expand out further and i want to fill this whole extra space that we made good morning boss man let's get to work good morning like always you gotta pay for that parking garage yes how did sir. you sleep pretty good it was uh yeah really good actually all right well you'll sleep well tonight because here is 750 dollars jeez thanks boss man are you getting the cold do you need some orange I, juice? I am getting a little bit of a cold. You don't get to yeah. call me out, man. Well, but no, I'm just looking out for you. Everybody. Okay. All right. Let, we got to we gotta pray for, uh, we got to make sure Garrett's feeling better. I'll get you some orange juice made up here. Here you go, big cat. It's got pulp in it, so it, it'll really get you feeling good. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. All right. Well, hey, so Steve's going to be coming in today. Oh, Steve? And yeah, hopefully we'll just have him get be like a full-time employee by the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. Do we got to do some recruiting or is he, is he, he's ready to go. He wants to work. It sounds like he's on board, but we'll have to see once he's here. Ten four. Yeah. Definitely good sign so far. What's up, Steve? Good to see you again, man. Good to see you too. Um, I just went on a little run here. It was really nice. Okay. Yeah. The, the truck that you fixed up, everything's working really good and the fire truck's really good. And yeah, thanks for doing all that work, man. Told you I am the best at this job. I'm so good at it. Heck yeah. yeah I think we're going to sell that six door here soon hopefully he's definitely a modest guy but man we built a shop and i want you to check it out it would be where you'll work if you do end up deciding to be one of our employees you didn't see this last time steve when you came by wow. this is brand new wow i just broke it in last night slept in it this yeah check this out beautiful we got your own lift here this thing is brand new it's, it's a little bit worn out but it's new to us that's everything i can ask for oh yeah and it has chairs it does yep. have so your chairs. customers, they come in, they want to watch your work, which I know you don't like that, but they can hang out for a bit when you're getting things ready. I'll make some new friends. That's right. Yeah, we, we have fire. some we have some crazy customers. Some like to call us besties or whatever. So yeah, you'll have tons of fun with those. That's weird. Yeah, we got really nice lighting. It's fully insulated, full heat and AC. So you're going to be really comfortable in here. Obviously, you got to keep the doors shut and all that, but it, it's pretty small square footage, but I think it'll work out. Sounds good. Yeah. So you want to work here? I think that is the motive. All right. Check that out. All right, oh, co-worker. I got to shake your hand, Steve. Welcome to the welcome to the team, man. It, it's about time. Let's go. Is Morgan going to be mad that you're quitting? Morgan Motors? No. no. I was hit, like, I may have been his star employee, but it's time for me to move on okay. to better things. Then four. Yeah, welcome on board, and we'll have lots of work for you over the next little bit. Oh, uh, boss man, I need like 30 minutes off. Completely forgot. I got to be with, with my realtor in town. I'm looking at a house to buy. Oh, you're looking to buy your house now. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. get that time off. Just, is, does this it interest you? Like, yeah, you think you'll yeah. Like it? This is the first one I'm meeting with the realtor, so we'll kind of see. It's a little overpriced, though. Oh, funny enough, I'm a uh, I'm selling my house right now. You're selling. Where do you live? I, I just live down the street. Hey, you can literally see it if you just walk over here. It's just down the street over there. It's like a oh, two minute walk. You live in that? Oh, that smaller house? That thing's nice. Yeah. It was only built like five years ago. Yeah, literally, it's it's brand new, pretty much. And you're selling it? You're yes. Oh, okay. I am. Uh, how, how, how much? Like 30,000. 30,000. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's two bedroom, two bath. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I cancel my appointment with my realtor and go take a look? Oh no, feel free. All I'd right, man. Okay. Uh, I'll just sneak over there. You guys keep working then. All sneak right. Through. Can I take the cart? Yep, I'll take yeah. the cart here. Go for it, man. Well, a little change of plans. I gotta text my realtor, Jeremy, and let him know that we, you know we aren't coming by. So there's the house over there, and we're gonna we're gonna go check it out. This is why we got the golf cart for scooting around. Heck, I had no idea Steve lived here. I've driven by this house all the time. I mean, I don't go down this road all the time, but heck, we could literally see it from the dealership. Why did he ever tell us that he lived right there? All right, let's check it out. Really, let's do a little walk around first. Really nice landscaping, like hardscaping, like they have this little nice paver sidewalk around the whole entire house then you could do i could maybe build like a pool back here that'd be awesome see this is a pretty new house like these are the trees that are growing here like th that's like a three-year-old tree or something a little play set here all right and we're in this is nice look at the living room this place isn't too big because we walked around in it in like two seconds but i don't need anything huge that's for sure i was living in a garage nice walk-in shower nice vanity really nice bathrooms all the tile tile throughout the kitchen in the living room kitchen is nice really open and i love the bar so in the morning i'm making myself some eggs slide over and eat them real quick here's the laundry room all right and then this is the bedroom it is a one bed i thought he said it was two maybe there's something in the basement but i'm already thinking this is way better price than the other house i'm gonna go tell steve man i'll i'll take it this looks pretty good to me yo steve boss man where are you boys at we're over here man what's up guys yeah steve really nice place man uh and you said you were you're having a hard time selling it yeah a little bit okay a yeah you just don't like the price uh yeah if you could come down a little bit you listed for 30 right yeah would you meet me down at 25 can we do 27 let's do 26 a nice even you know two six Point, a nice even two six i like that okay shake on it twenty six thousand. that you got yourself a deal man and that is what we love to hear all right well it looks like you have a new house yeah yeah let me grab the money out of my truck real quick here out of your truck i forgot to tell you boss man i've been sleeping here since you bought my house what yeah, here, Steve, here's 26,000. There you go. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, boss man, I've been sleeping here the whole time. What? The, okay, okay. I need to see. Have you like damaged it all in there? No, or? no. I've just been sleeping in the sleeper. That's what it's meant for. Oh, dude, it smells terrible in uh, here. Yeah, just get a Febreze in there. Maybe Steve could work on it. Yeah, oh, I, I could do that for you guys. Should we let uh, Steve get to work? There's some to-do list on that truck and then a few other vehicles around here. Yeah, yeah, Steve, go for it. All right, man, turn on the heat. I'll shut the doors for you. All right, he'll be getting to work. Awesome. All right, man, you want to help me move over? I got some stuff here, my golf cart, my mower, a couple cars. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, you, your mower's been here for a while. All right, big cat, let's load up the tractor and my Segway. What else do we got to grab here? How are we going to load it up? You I, just I toss it up there, man. Man, it's high up. Here, here, I'll show you. That's why we got, that's why I raised the bed here. That way we didn't have to go up. So what, are we supposed to drive this tractor just onto your bed? Exactly, it'll be perfect. It actually is a perfect height. Let's get on the old 110 here. Here, can you, it, it's pretty light. Can you try and help scooch me over? Yeah, here you go. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no. no. Help me, help me, push back up. Come on. All right, there we go. We got them loaded up, strap it down real quick. And we don't have too far to drive. I'm a little more worried about unloading than loading, big cat. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. All right, I'll meet you there. Drive my golf cart. All right, look how blow. I'm just going to roll it off here. Okay, try not to get injured. And okay. there we go. Yeah, you just jump out last second. You want to help me flip it? Yep. Push, push, push. There we go. That's how you do it. These are fake bananas on the table, man. They are? They are. I think it was just for his showing, for people to come oh, look. Oh, I see. You should try eating one. I heard plastic's good for the digestive system. I'm good, man. It sounds like you had a couple of plastic bananas. All right, all right. Well, okay, so you have... Wait, where's... You have a washer but no dryer? I guess so. Maybe it's two in one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, man, I like this place. And then here's a bathroom. Oh, actually, I'm going to quickly use this. If you don't mind. Oh, okay. All right, man. I haven't even used my own bathroom. Oh, man. That thing. Oh, it okay. reeks in there. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll close that door. We'll just... Oh, my goodness, yeah, Nothing man. happened. Hey, you got my truck all smelly. I get your bathroom all hey, smelly. Hey, it's both our trucks, but anyway, yep. All right, I'm gonna go for a little tractor ride around my property. You wanna bring over some of my some of my stuff out of the truck? Yeah, for sure. I'll be right back. All right, boss man. What you brought? Hey, you brought me the mower. I thought yeah, that was man. yours. I decided to give it to you as a housewarming present. Okay, man, that's nice. I appreciate it. That way I can mow my yard. Yep. There we go. I was thinking. I was like, you know what? Like, although our deal was only to give you the mower or like the tractor, I was like, I have no purpose for this. So, yeah. Enjoy. Hopefully, you'll get good use out of it. All right, let's head out. Wait, what is on my roof? 
What the heck? There's a golf cart. My golf cart's on the roof. Bossman must have pranked me. Well, guys, we made it to the cornfield, and it's five minutes after when I said people were supposed to be here, and nobody's showed up. What the heck? Oh, somebody's here with the tractor. Howdy there, sir. Nice to meet you. Are you here for the corn maze? Yeah, I heard you had an advertise on one of them billboards out there, and I decided to stop by. 10-4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pull up right here next to the side-by-side. -side. All right, man, I'm waiting for more people, but I like the tractor. All right, man, come on over. Get in line. This is the entrance right here. Just right here. Got a little entrance. Perfect. Thanks for coming. Thank Holy you. biscuits and gravy. Who is this? An X9 John Deere combine. Do you know this guy? No, I have no clue who that is. Man, are you here for the corn maze? Yeah, I also have uh, an idea. So if I get through this in under 10 minutes, I can harvest this. Under 10 minutes, you can harvest it. That's where you brought the combine. Uh, yes, yeah. dude. Shake on it. All right. All right. And by the way, entry fee is $100. I forgot to collect money from that guy, but $100 entry fee. And I will say, if you win it, you can combine it. Like, if you get through it in another 10 minutes, you can combine yeah. it. But if you win it, you get the grand prize of everybody's money. So, thanks for the 100 bucks. Riley, I got to grab your 100 too. All right. Yep. All right. Here you go. So, everybody pulls it up. Hey, another guy coming in. All right, sir. Yep. Just bark right next to that combine in the tractor. There's that combine. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like he's going to combine combine the field once we're done okay this guy's having a little troubles getting through yes sir yep just bark her up all right sir it's a hundred dollar entry fee right now the grand total prize if you win it is 300 bucks wow here's my hundred dollars perfect get in line all right sir welcome hundred dollar entry fee for you here we go yep just get in line right here thank you thank you okay who's who brought the combine again vermeer sweatshirt yeah i did do you know this guy with the semi are you on a uh, team together uh i do not okay sounds like he's ready to haul your grand away howdy sir hundred dollar entry fee go ahead and park your semi anywhere Perfect. Thank you. In a 9RX pulling in. What the heck? All right, uh -oh. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $100 entry fee. Just park next to the guy with the, with the semi. Thank you. And here we go. 10 minutes after when everybody's supposed to show up, a snow cat is pulling in. $100 entry fee and just park next to All the guy right. in the grain cart there. There you go. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you for coming. Right now, we have seven people here. I'm going to throw my $100 into the pool, too. Here's 800 buckaroos. Whoever makes it through first gets the 800, and it sounds like you guys brought your own equipment. So I guess we're going to harvest the corn, too. All right, they're off. Go, 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 go. And they're going. Okay, guys, I'm going to go get my drone in the air real quick. There we go. Now we can see them. Jeez, they're making progress. The corn maze, and that way we can see if they're cheating too. If anybody runs through the corn, heck, I don't even know the right way to get out of here. Those guys are hitting the dead end. I think, yeah, that one's the dead end. So three guys trapped there, and let's see. Oh, one guy is making it really fast. He he took all the right turns. If he takes a right turn, he he took a right turn. Okay, if he goes straight, okay, good. He took another right turn, but there's no way he doesn't get this like very very soon. Winner winner chicken dinner. We got a winner. Yeah. Look at that. Yes, I, I didn't think I would win. Let's go. Oh, dude, Let's you got go. it so fast. Okay, here is $800 for you. Well, congratulations, guys. You all made it. What do you say we harvest some corn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got a X, uh, 9RX, an X9 combine, and then somebody's got to get in the semi. So everybody get in your vehicles and let's harvest this field. Go. Let's go. $25,000, i will buy all this corn off of you. 25000 to buy the corn? Yeah, yeah, that works. That's easy. All right, well, I'll get you the check right out right out here in just a second here. Perfect. 25000 guys. So I knew there was a lot of corn there. We um, built the corn maze, and they said we could keep the corn. So, all right, perfect. Thank you. No problem. You have a great day. So, how did you sleep? You like your new house? I love it. I love it really good. That was night number two, sleeping in it, and weird noises last night. I think there's maybe something in the attic, but all of you go check that out later. Uh, yeah, you can call someone, use my card. It's all good. But man, you got a tow job. Oh, I do? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, why do I keep getting the emails about them? Can they just <laughs> go know. to you? Yeah, yeah, like, we should redirect it. Okay, um, where, where is it? What's the situation? It's just down the road. It's a John Deere Gator, so it should be pretty simple. Okay. It's saying that they'll give you 250 bucks cash. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so go do it. I'm heading out. Get the old girl fired up. Lights and sirens, they all work. I'm, I'm joking. We don't have sirens, but we do have lights. All right, let's head out. Garrett just texted me the address. Oh, it's literally my neighbor. Yeah, right down the road. Okay, this will be cool. I get to meet my neighbors and I get to help them out. That's the best way to do it. All right, see, there's my house right there. Oh, no. We left the front door open, guys. What a rookie mistake. I Again, I, you, I didn't really have a front door in the past like that, so we got to make sure we shut it. There it is right there. Okay, let's uh, fly Flashers are on. Let's put the hazards on. All right, let's pull off here. So it sounded like they went over the railroad tracks. I just got off the phone with the owner. Okay, yep. This is it. He said he flipped it. That's not good. That thing looks brand new. So I don't know where these guys live. Oh, they must live down there, but... 
He said they went over their own tracks, the farmer's son, and took it out for a joyride and then ended up like this. But I think everybody's okay. Probably got a little shaken up, of course. So what I'm going to do is, ooh, this could be tough. I'm going to get up there and then I think we'll winch it up because it's going to be too hard to winch down here. All right, we're all hooked up. This is my idea. It should roll over and I, at some point it's going to be, I think, tipping. I can come down, push it over. And anyway, once we get on all four wheels, should be good to drive it right up. All right, here we go, guys. We're winching. Hold on. Holy cow. Okay, slow down the winch. We don't need it that fast. And yes, that's exactly what I wish for. And then we're just going to winch from here. Heck, let's turn on the two speed. I have two speeds on this winch, a fast and a slow. All right, this was pretty easy. It's nice when the things don't weigh thousands and thousands of pounds. These UTVs are pretty light, maybe 1500 max. And there we go, winch it up. We're going to head to the farmer's place, stay out of his field a little bit. I think he lives right here. Yep, that's their address. All right, there we go. And just undo my hook. Okay, we'll get it parked. And that was an easy 250. Let's go collect the money. And perfect. They were super nice. Oh, don't forget our hook here. I've had this hook on all the jobs, so it's, it's becoming sentimental because all these jobs are starting to add up. I don't want to lose my favorite hook. An old tow mater did a good job. You guys, I asked you guys, what should we name this tow truck? A lot of you guys had really good names, but the most one I saw was tow mater. So we're going to call it tow mater. All right, boss man, got the tow job done. It was it was pretty crazy. They flipped over side by side. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they did not say that in the email. Well, hey, I got some money for you for that parking garage. So here's 800. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. No problem. That parking garage is really paying off. By the way, I got to give you some money too. Here's a thousand dollars. So we did the corn maze. I get a thousand and you get 24,000? Yeah, I did all the work. You were on, you were on a vacation or wherever you were. It's my land. I, I made a video of it if you want to check it out. Okay. Oh, on your YouTube channel thing? Yep. I, I've been meaning to subscribe to that. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to do that tonight. Yeah, you should. What I'm thinking is I'm going to rent an excavator because I was talking about building that pool in my backyard. Yeah. Well, you want to get it done today? Yes, I do. I do. So we're going to go rent an excavator. Quite a large one should make quick work. All right. Steve isn't working today, but I think he got the semi. He ran through it, did service maintenance on it. There were a few little things that were acting up on it. Sounds like he got her all fixed up. And let's hook up to the trailer. And this excavator is going to be a big boy. It's a big load. It's a Volvo excavator. Way overkill for what I need. But I thought, hey, let's just get it done like in two minutes and then it'll save me a bunch of time we're hooked up let's get her going 700 buckaroos honestly i got some quotes to build like out of pool and just the excavation portion was gonna be like five like ten thousand dollars like something crazy hey boss man this is big spence i need you as a pilot car can you meet me down at the strip mall yeah i can meet you there okay i should have swung a bit wider but we'll clear just a few branches heck yeah boys whoa watch out what the heck well guys we made it thanks boss man for the escort that really helped out all right nice and easy just gonna drive down here and perfect all right that was a little rougher than i thought but hey it worked here we go timber she's coming down we'll get this stump later but right now i just don't want to hit the excavator with it and i want it down either way here she comes holy cow that's a big one This is the deep end. Very, very deep. I want it to be deep because I used to do like scuba diving. So maybe we throw on some scuba diving gear, boss man. And I don't know. I just think it's cool. You have some weird ideas, man. I do. I do. It's going to be about this wide, maybe a bit wider and a bit longer. We just got to kind of square it off and it's coming together real good. That was about what? 10 minutes of worth of work? Yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. A lot faster than if you entered a little small one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Ah. Just woke up from my nap. Heard some concrete trucks running. Will you look at that? Out my dining room view. Dude, look at... Oh my goodness. The pool is made. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Well, let's get the, art, the garden hose. We're going to start filling this baby up. This is looking good. Heck yeah. This is awesome. Let's see what the view looks like from inside my house. Even out my laundry window, I can see. My kitchen window, I just, I'm a little short. I got to jump a little bit. Oh, there's boss man. That's scary. You can see it out there. And then, yeah, out through, you're eating dinner. Oh man, the pool looks great. Well, boss man, we better get the old excavator back there before tonight. Otherwise, we could charge another $700. I guess I got to worry about that. I could use it as a pilot car though. Yeah, I guess you can, but probably best to return that thing. Yep, that works. All right, boss man, thank you for the help. Appreciate yeah. it. What do you think of the pool? 
I, I think it turned out pretty good. So do I get paid since I helped out? Yep, here is free dinner. $25 coupon to Applebee's. This is a McDonald's coupon oh. for an ice cream cone that's 10% off. Oh yeah, that's an even better one. Okay, perfect. Glad you like it. Well, good morning. Let's get to work. Last night, I swam in the pool all night. Super fun. And today we're driving down the John Deere 110. I haven't had it started in a while. Haven't needed to mow my lawn. So I thought, hey, let's blow out the cobwebs. All right, let's pull in here. Here's $850. Let's go. Yes, sir. Parking garage has been making some real good money. I'm going to keep the hoverboard in your office. And yeah, things are going to get busy around here because people are going to start buying cars for, you know, Christmas gifts, stuff like that. Do you know anyone who gets a car for a Christmas gift? Because Well, I've if you're going to get a car one. and then, you know, you get it for, your, you know, a friend or somebody and you're like, hey, it's a Christmas gift. I guess that's true. Well, anyways, enough talking. We got to get to work. So, you know, we get cars all the time, right? And usually we have to go pick them up. And it's kind of sketchy because we're using our own trailers. Well, this time I've contacted this shipping company and they have these big containers. And all of our vehicles are now going to be arriving in those. That sounds like a plan, Stan. How many cars? Yeah, honestly, I don't know how big the order was. You could only fit like five in here if you ordered that much. We need to keep selling. Yeah, well, I got some snowmobiles and other things too you'll, you'll see when we're oh there. snowmobiles yeah awesome okay yeah. all right i'm getting Should the semi fired up all right boss man i'll show you how to drive the semi in case you need to drive it okay i, I think i know how to drive this uh, thing man. no there's no body. way you know how to shift man all right there we go swing wide you gotta swing wide and if a car's in your way just hammer on the horn okay man i love this thing definitely is not passing any emissions tests though all right, man, you got to swing wide, especially when you get into residential air, well, commercial areas like this. But you know what I mean? Is that the warehouse? Uh, yep, that is it. Bigger than I thought. Where the heck do you pull into this place at? I think you just kind of make your own spot. What? I don't really see a... Uh... Well, do you see an entrance? All right, make your own spot, he said. Be careful. This ground's a little bit rough. Check this out, man. You got two Paganis? Yes, sir. These things were very expensive. Yeah, they look like it. Did somebody order them, or did you just get it and hope that we're going to sell them? We have some people who are talking about being interested, some customers who have quite a bit of money, so we'll, we'll see if we can get them to pick these up. I do like how you can open the back, easy to work on, service, do maintenance, stuff like that. All right, so how the heck do we do this, man? They're all in, like, these weird shipping container things, and... Are these two containers yours too? Yep, these are also ours. So one of these should have the okay. snowmobiles. I'm gonna go whatever. find somebody in the warehouse and figure out what the heck we're doing here. Well, boss man, where you at, big cat? I'm over here. What's up? Okay, sounds like they uh they have like this forklift over here. I'm gonna have you run it, and then they wouldn't let us drive our semi. They said they had one hooked up to a trailer. Blah blah blah. Anyway, you're gonna load me up in the forklift and they get a semi on the other side of the building okay and then do we take the forklift with us they mentioned to me that they'll supply everything yeah i guess we'll just throw it on our trailer so good thing we brought our semi well look at this they have a tesla semi crazy okay let's turn it on they didn't even tell me it was like a tesla they were just like hey we got a semi hooked up to our trailer go grab it and i was like all right but look at this thing. It's all electric. There's like a little whining noise to it. And I guess these are shipping container trailers. I literally have no, oh, it's only 90%. This is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let you do your thing, man. I've never seen one of those. Holy biscuits. That thing weighs yeah. probably a million pounds. Yeah, this should be able to support all the weight we need. All right. So this just extends all the ways out. Check that out. Okay, here we go. Oh, you got a little tipping going. You're good though. Okay. Yeah, nice and easy. Straighten them there tires out. You're cranked to the right there. And make sure I don't hit anything. Yeah, you're good. None of this is ours, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't want to damage you. This is our like, first time working with this company. There we go. I think we got it attached. Cars are strapped down. And then what? We need to do the green and yellow tra containers? Yep. And you left your or the trailer, man. Come oh, on. Jeez, I must have hit the wrong button. Is there lots of buttons in that thing? Yeah, there's like... A million. Well, actually, there's it's just a like iPad looking thing. Oh, all this new technology. All right, we're all loaded up. Two cars. One of these he said has stone wheels. Another one's a car. You said. Yep, should all be in there. Geez, I wonder how many trailers you could connect together, but that is plenty long. Good thing it separates in the middle. And you're going to load that up onto our 9,000? Yeah, I hope it's going to be able to pull the weight. Heck, it'll pull it, but will the trailer hold it? Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. I had that Volvo on there yesterday. 
That thing weighed about 100,000 pounds, so should be good. Okay, let's try getting this on a bit better. Okay. All right, we got to reposition. I'm going to let I'm going to let you haul that and then I'm going to take the Tesla. That sounds good. You know how to drive that thing? Yeah, it's pretty quick. And the turning radius. Look at this. This thing turns on a dime. Man, the fact that you're making no sound and then there's me who's just sound like a full on the like, cruise ship. Here we go, big cat over the bridge. Heck yeah, this is awesome. So should we start investing in some electric semis? Cause it seems like that thing's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty expensive though. Ah, uh, okay, I, well, isn't everything. Plus, I don't know if Steve could, you know, keep them going. Hey, that guy's pretty skilled, but yeah, I guess it is electric. It's a bit different. Yeah, I'm going 120 kilometers, 140. I'm going uh, 11. All right, I already made it here. All right, I'll be there in five minutes. Jeez, man, lay off the horn. Just want to make sure you were awake. I was actually taking a nap. Well, not anymore. There you go, floor it, floor it. Yep. Nice here work, big go. cat. Just drop her down. Let's see what's in there. Is that the snowmobile one? I think so. Green for snowmobile? Green for snowmobile? What kind of snowmobiles did you buy? I, th I think I bought a green one. Here, let's see. I think I drop her down. I think I can undo the latch here. Yeah, I got some snowmobiles here. Perfect, Polaris. Wait, are these our snowmobiles or are we trying to sell them? We're trying to sell these. Oh, and you paid for everything, right? Yeah, yeah. They're and all paid Let's for. just say we aren't able to sell them. Can we use them, like, make sure they're still working in the winter? Yeah, we, we're going to have to give some of our customers a demonstration of how they work. Okay, that works good. We got snowmobiles, lifted trucks, and Ferraris. We got it all. There you go. Looks good, boss man. Just back her on down. All right, here we go. These are going to be fun to get out of here. Yeah, heck, how are we going to do that? I don't know. I don't even know how they got them in here. A forklift? I'll grab the forklift. Guys, over the course of just a couple months, we have bought so many pieces of equipment, so many different things, and we've only sold, I think I've sold three or four cars now, which has been good for me. But boss, man, I don't think he's sold very many cars. Anyway, we bought more than we sold, which isn't a good combination. Here we go. Got him down with the forklift. You should probably move your behemoth out of the way. Boss, man, I don't know why it's sitting there. Man, it's okay. You can literally drive under it. That's true. That's true, unless it settles. But yeah, there we go. These things are, how much did they cost and what are we going to sell them for? Uh, So yeah, we're going to sell these for a million bucks each. A million and bucks each? We don't have to talk about how much I spent on them. It's all good. I'll just make sure the profit margins are there. But yeah, let's get them in the showroom if they're a million dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. these are not going to be staying outside. Wow. Like, just look at the construction of these. They are made so well. Yeah, suspension's really cool, but all right, we need to keep working, man. It's getting late. Okay. I yeah. want to go home here soon. Okay, okay. Let's get this last container off. So you ordered two cars, two snowmobiles, and what was the last thing? I, I think it's a car. Okay, it should be. Do you know what Maybe type? A Ferrari? BMW? BMW? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see once we open it. Here she comes. Yep, you're clear. All right. Drop down right here. What in tarnation is this? What do you mean? What's in it? Get out of here, boss man. Are, is this a cruel joke? What the heck? Is it a steamroller? Man, this looks like something from the Flintstones. Oh, there's a little seat here. What? what? Then you just push with your feet? There's a steering there's, wheel. There's no way I ordered this. Wait, let me hop in here with you. What the heck? Yeah. This is not Well, we go a lot I... faster when you're helping with your feet, too. I don't think they sent us the right vehicle. Huh. It's a four-seater. Man. Is it six-cylinder uh, or is it a V8? Well, I see two cylinders on it, but I don't think that's what you're asking. Uh, four-seater thing. It's got eight, four horsepower. So, like, what are we going to do? Are we keeping this? Like, are we using this as an attraction? No, this is model or... 1800, isn't it? Or is this the 1776 model? Okay, okay. Do you think we can get this thing sold? Yeah, it's com it's got a rooftop, too. That's nice. Yeah, I guess pretty uh... good aerodynamics. Nice wood finish, you know? Yeah, you know, you don't have the windshield, so you don't have to always keep cleaning off the windshield. You have all those moving parts, you know? Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay, we'll keep it. Okay, yeah, I bet I can get her sold. Well, I'm going to let you bring everything back. I have to go home and wash the pigs. The, the pigs? What? Yeah, I got to clean. Yep, see Goodbye. you later. Goodbye. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's get to work. Today's going to be a good day. Got a lot of stuff planned out around the shop. Let's get her done. Here we go, pulling through today that I drove my daily driver and our shop vehicle. Let's do some donuts this morning. I'm hungry. Let's get some glazed donuts going. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Okay, good thing we got a roll bar. All right, let's get her parked. Oh, boss man saw that. Dang it. Hopefully they didn't chip his concrete. Good morning, big cat. I'm ready for work. What the heck was that? I just saw you rolling through the air. I was hungry for donuts, so I did a few donuts. 
Oh, okay. Are they glazed or Boston cream? Uh, glaze, glaze donuts, glazed. and yeah. Sorry, I got a roll bar. It's all good. Just a few scratches. All right. Well, you're actually gonna be using that today, but I'll, I'll tell you more about that here in a sec. Okay. I was, now, I was gonna say I'm ready for. I can run to the grocery store. I can restock the vending machine. I can clean all the windows. I can, I'll even sweep the floor. Okay, yeah, you can definitely sweep the floor uh, before the end of the day. But here, let me pay you first. Oh, yeah, my hoverboard still there. Yeah, it's been in my office. Feel free okay. to take it whenever you want. Here I you will. go. Thank you. Here, yeah, you're even going to count it? You don't care how much money I gave nah, you? No, how much? Just let me know. Man, it was $832. Score one for the boys back home. Guys, we're getting rich. Again, our goal is to become a millionaire. And right now, I'm not. I'm close. I'm working my way. We have grown a lot, but we still have a ways to go. We need to start thinking big. And so I need all you guys to come up in the comment section. What should I do to make some more money? What business should I start? The tow business? It's all right. It's fun. But hey, it's not raking in the dough. Thinking, boss man, maybe I should quit working here. I might be wasting my time. Not making enough money. Yeah, you would have nowhere to even tow the vehicles to. So That's true. That's I, true. I'll, I'll use you for a little bit more. And then once yeah. I get more money, I'll just peace out. But anyway, what was your uh -huh. plan? What were we saying? Okay, so as I said, you're more than welcome to sweep the floors. But the plan today, in my mind, is to do none of that. And we're actually going to head out and have a little bit of fun. Because we've never really put to the test what your truck can do. And I want to see what it can do on some huge boulders. Okay, yeah. Boss man and fun usually don't go together, but yeah, so the day off, this isn't a trick or anything? This is not a trick. I'm proving to you that I am fun. All right, 10-4. I will, of course, yeah, I'll take the 3,500. You said rock crawling off-road park thingy? Yep, and on our way there, you'll drop me off at my rental vehicle, so let's go. All right, jump up in here, big cat. Let's head out. Let's hit the road, man. When we go over about 60 mile an hour, there's a little bit of a speed wobble, if that makes sense, so just put your seatbelt on. Real quick, let's grab a large hyper hypercube pizza. You want pizza? Here, jump out. I already ordered it. I didn't let you know. Okay, you got meat lovers? Yep, and they didn't have it prepaid, so I used my card. Oh, perfect. Okay, I was a little worried they, they had my card info. All right, let's head out. Grab me a slice, man. That's some good stuff right there. Smells good. I'm not going to feed you. You got to do this yourself. I know. I'll drive one hand. Just hand me over a slice. Okay. Well, guys, we made it. 30-minute drive later, we had to drop old boss man off. He just showed up, but he's renting this truck from Buddy. So you got to lift it an old Chevy. Fox suspension, big tires. I don't know why you got those rims on there. You don't got much tread. But anyway, interesting. We will see monster truck versus like old school lifted truck. Yeah, are you even going to fit through the entrance? Like, Oh, uh, yeah. Do I have enough headroom? That's a good question. Yeah, we should be good. It's inflatable anyway. So if I pop it, it'll be fine. I'm going to let you go first, man. Okay, here we go. Do I just start going? Yeah, just start going. I just, I think there's a timer that goes when we cross the barrier. There we go. Up and over. Oh, there's cars in here. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I've been on this map before, and this is a new stage. I and Boss Man have yet to do this. I haven't been here in months and months, but this is completely new. They say it's the extreme difficulty trail run, so it's a canyon run, I guess. Here we go. Boss Man, don't roll it. Go, go, I'm go. Try not to. Here we go. Are you having any difficulties getting through this thing? No. Going as slow as you are, I bet if I floored it, it would get a little rough. But, dude, I have like 10 PSI in the tires. These are like tractor tires. Here, watch. I'll try and make it a bit harder. Look at that suspension flex. The tires are squatting. Holy biscuits. Yeah, take it uh, slow through this next part, man. Look at that, boss, man. I'm... It's nice to have a flatbed back there, honestly. I have so much clearance. What is this, the catwalk? Yeah, looks like oh. it. I barely fit. Okay, so you barely fit. Yeah, how do you think I should do this? I think you're just going to have to get tread with driving on the side of the rocks or something. I don't know. Okay, let me jump out real quick, see what the heck's going on. I got some room to my left. I got a ways to go. I just need a little bit, and that's a steep drop into the water. It looks like somebody's been down there before with the tire tracks. Yeah, try not to join them, man. There's a little, like, house up there. Yeah, there is. Maybe, like, once you fall in there in the winter and you're freezing, you go up there to warm up. I don't know. Sure, I'm going to go check that out. You try making it through. Okay, if, if you see anything off or rock slips, let me know. Okay. Here's the question. Do I go really far to my left and then I tip over, or do I stay a bit to the right and then just slide in man full send really it's full send i'm gonna go nice and, oh there we go it's getting wider here oh watch this tree up ahead i don't think you're making it through this is the pinch point right here just gotta keep my right tires on the ground there we go 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we made it. Okay, watch so out, there's a sign. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna you... hang to the left here. Yeah, I was gonna say, no way you're making it through the other way. I barely made it. All right, it. boss man, move or lose it. I'm gonna see how much faster I can go than you. Dude, look at the, oh my goodness. I gotta take an Instagram picture real quick. Check out the suspension. I'm surprised something doesn't break. Holy it biscuits looks like your gravy. tires inside your front fender. And I think my back axle is just almost hanging there loose. Okay, my back right tire is touching, but that is crazy. Here we go. Up and over. This is pretty This is pretty steep up and over. Yep. Drop it oh, in. Oh, jeez. Your tires are huge, man. Yeah. Having big tires helps. All right, I'm going to watch you real quick. This is kind of sketchy part. Here we go. Your shot's I'm doing just, really good. I'm just hoping my brakes are going to be able to keep working. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. It's tough. Uh -oh, oh, geez. Uh-oh, 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 look at that, look at that. There you go. That was pretty good. I could I could audition for the Monster Jam after this. Yeah, you definitely you know, could. Those, like, they do, like, wheelies, they hold them, they have, like, really good, like, you know, I don't know too much about Monster Jam, but hey, I can give her a shot. Oh, how do I make it through this? Yeah, it is just so nice having the big tires. I'm going to see if I can go up here. Yeah, I'd say go to the right. I just went, oh, no. Okay, Come be on. careful. Either, okay, you got it. Yep. Yeah, nice and easy. I was gonna say you could reverse but okay careful here we go that's literally a full-on tree yeah that's pretty big oh, okay uh yeah that's pretty big tree growing there they say during the wet season in the spring there's water flowing through here it's a canyon oh yeah i would not want to do this when it's all soaked i'm glad it's dry right yeah now. slippery with like moss growing on the rocks yeah that'd be sketchy here we go flooring it oh yeah look at this baby yeah wheelie up that is awesome is this the way you're supposed going to go right? no i don't think so there were logs up here maybe this is the shortcut here watch this Calabonga the there you go okay come on land it come on there we go we landed it yeah all right boss man i'm gonna take a little swim this water is nice and blue it's like the caribbean i'll wait for you down here okay i think they die of the water or something no, no way no man i'll have a sip yeah it tastes good it's it's like filtered clean canyon water i'll take your word for it all right, I'm just gonna go straight through. I guess maybe it's not too clean after this. Let's see if I can drive through here. Oh yeah. I don't know. Dang, dude, your truck is doing like as good as mine. Obviously I can go a bit faster, but very surprised you can keep up with me. I'm trying. Your truck though can do anything. Like you literally went up those logs. Yeah, and one part of the reason I was thinking, boss man, we could take some pictures and then um, I know we, were, we didn't bring this to six door, but like it'd be really cool if we like had the six door out here made a video and showed everybody like what it could do for to try and like sell it you know oh yeah we can definitely bring down some of the vehicles here 55 gallon drums just stacked in a pile that's interesting oh it's getting tight is this what happens after this it's like we're on the edge of a cliff i don't know man definitely watch your sides and everything because we're definitely high up yeah it feels like we've been climbing the whole entire time oh now it's downhill i see so you just drive off a cliff and hope for the best all right boss man i'm out of your way <laughs> Yeah, I, I can tell. I'll let you go by, big cat. All right, so I just go down here? I think so. I let you go first, so if you start rolling out of control, you don't hit me. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't even yeah, see. The view is so scary. There's a big cliff, and it looks like they have some equipment down there in case you do go off. They can help flip you back over. Yeah. Man, I don't know how you're doing this next part. It gets thin. Yeah, this is scary, and it's about like the other one, you would hope. Didn't we sign a waiver coming in here if we crashed or hurt ourselves then we couldn't sue them yeah yeah it's all on us that makes sense now Jeez, man this gets intense how are you doing back there i'm good i made it through the sketchy part just enough traction and wait to stay on all four tires say you made it through the sketchy part everything's the sketchy no that part, was the man. sketchiest part by far dude you're on the edge of a cliff here we go hope you don't pop any tires there Ain't popping no tires. This is pretty, this is cool. I, I like this. If you guys have seen the earlier video when we tested out uh, this map here, it wasn't as like, it wasn't as hard as this. And I really like, like, I don't know, a lot of work got done into it and it looks really nice. There we go, big cat. The finisher. This is what they call the finisher. Try and floor it. Just floor it. You made I'm it this going. far. Here we go. Here we go. I don't want to flip this thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm about to oh, flip it. Oh, you're flipping. Am I going to beat you? You ain't beating nobody. I got flipped over. Come on, come oh. on. You're stumbling. You're bubbling. Stump crawl, little tires. And ding, ding, ding. Look at that. I'm the winner. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there, man. Okay. 
This is a rental. I am getting boss man some waffles this morning. And wait a second, what the heck was that? Look at this. So I, it's just on the other side here. It's actually this building back here. I wonder if I can go through here. Let's get boss man some waffles real quick. But look at what we found in the backyard. This is an old Mac tow truck a wrecker with the old cable system here, similar to what we got at home. But it's got the dual axles in the back and tandems and everything. This is probably a lot heavier duty than what I got. Got a box of half a dozen waffles, blueberries, and it sounds like the guy who owns this hardware store owns it. Well, old Jimbo was a nice guy and yeah, he's going to be there all day. So he said he wasn't really thinking about selling, but one thing he is looking for is a dump truck or a dump trailer. I got to thinking we have a dump truck at the dealership that boss man has kind of talked about selling or something and we never use it. So I might have to go talk to him about that. Uh, heck, maybe we can strike a deal. Boss man, what the heck are you doing up there, man? He can't even hear oh. me. The trees go. Oh, he could hear me now. Is that you? Yeah, boss man, what are you doing? You, so you aren't supposed to be up there without another guy down below. Well, I was just fixing a light bulb. It's pretty easy. It doesn't take two people. Well, I guess I shouldn't be up here too at the same time as you. Do you even have your supports down? Uh, I think so. I clicked the buttons. Dude, it's on uneven ground. They aren't even touching the ground. It's okay. Here, I just finished changing it. So I mean, your, your supports, are, not the hydraulic side side supports, though. Man, we're all good. The angle helps with uh, staying stable. That's, you have it fully extended, man. That's dangerous. It was stable when I was up there. Here, real quick, let me take a picture, and that way if we sell this thing or whatever, we have a cool picture. All right, smile. Cheese. Got it. I think I blinked. Ah, it's all right. Here's your waffles. Oh, here, help me. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, thank you. just for you. All right. Matches I'll your blue that. shirt today. Yeah, I'll put it in my pocket. So, uh, here, you know, if you're being all, like, weird about this thing, here, you can collapse it yeah. for me. Yeah, I got you. All right, we got the sides up, and we're moving the ladder down now. Let's see if this works. Heck, I'm really surprised Boss Man got this to go, because I didn't really show him how to work it, and he just jumped in and went. I just, when I got the waffles, ran into an old tow truck, didn't have for sale sign or anything, but I figured out who owned it, and I would like to buy it for the business, but the guy didn't really want to sell, but he was looking for a dump truck or a dump trailer to trade. So you're thinking we get rid of this thing and Yeah, then... we never really use it and you always say you want to get rid of it. So I was thinking we could trade this for the tow truck. All right, what's in it for me since I paid for this and you're the one with the tow business? How about we split the revenue on the tow jobs? I still got to do the work. You can help out sometimes, but you get half the profit. Okay. Half the profit sounds good to me. All right. Is there anything I should know? Get the title registration for this thing, all the paperwork, and yeah. then we're going to go see if we can trade her straight up. Okay. And do, do you want me to pay you before you go too? Because the parking garage ha oh. has been making some yeah, money. Yeah. Let's go get all the paperwork and all that here. I'll start the truck. Make sure it's running. Batteries are charged. Here we go. Let's crank her over. Heck yeah, boy. She started right up. Yo, dude, you got a hole in your shirt and your like back of your left armpit. Turn around. Yeah, come on, man. That's so unprofessional. <laughs> well, anyways, here's $900 oh, for the parking garage. Score one for the boys back home. Let's go. We're making money. Yeah, that thing's making over two grand a day now, so it's pretty good. Well, got the truck all warmed up. Title registration. Thank you. You want to come with or you got to man this? You got to hold the fort down. Uh, do I want to come with you? You kind of smell, man. All right. Yeah, that's all good. I'll, I'll take care of it. Shouldn't it be too bad. He seemed like a really nice guy. So hopefully I'm back here in 30 minutes with a tow truck. Okay. I like the way this truck idles. It sounds good. It's got that, uh, I don't know what you call it, but just that little chuckle. She sounds good. She, she worked good for us. We just honestly never really used it besides when we started building out this place so time for her to go home to another place there we go old jim's ready to go nice well jim it's good to see you again and i brought the dump truck so if you honestly how about this how about this you jump in the dump truck take it for a test drive i'll jump in the mac take it for a test drive all right meet you back here in 10 minutes all right guys let's see how she starts up there we go not too loud it sounds good it's an old mac i did some research on these the engines that are in there and this has the dual exhaust they made one i think with a single axle too nice flashers those are bright headlights work good just running lights are nice too brake lights those work and blinkers yep blinkers are working too okay let's head out i don't know how i feel about the all red i mean it matches the like mac theme but let's just kind of cruise around town i want to figure out how to ship this thing it has the cool bulldog emblem on the front that's awesome and the whole idea is we're gonna be able to tow so much more so much more weight and when we can do bigger tow jobs we can pretty much get more money for them the interior isn't too bad looks like all the gauges are working they're all moving crank crank windows of course uh it even has a radio no ac but it does have heat 
That's nice. There's no mice living in the headliner. I mean, the seats feel good and, and comfortable. Nothing crazy. Looks like we beat old Jim back here. We'll just hang out and he can show us how to do the uh, cables and all the towing and stuff because different machine. Want to be careful. It's been two hours and I've walked around the block, kind of stood on the main road here like a lot. I do not have his number, but we did exchange papers. I don't see anybody. All right, I'm, I'm gonna wait a little longer, like another 20 minutes. I already waited two hours and we'll see if he shows, but he hasn't come back. I'm actually worried that like he crashed it or it broke down or something like that. I gotta get to work. Bossman's gonna be extremely mad. It's been three hours since I left the dealership, two and a half since I've been back here. We're gonna take this back to as collateral. We were gonna do a trade straight up. So I'm just heading back and if I hear anything from him, good. And if I don't, whatever, it's all good. And there we go. That's a lot bigger tow truck than what we got. I should bring down old tow mater and we can compare him a bit. All right, boss man, I made it back. Sorry about being late. It took a bit longer than I thought. Yeah, no problem. You got oh. the trade made? Oh, you weren't mad at me? I thought you were gonna be super mad. Nah. It's okay. I, I've been just doing work here and I actually had a customer come by. I thought they were going to buy something and then Thanks. last minute they decided to bolt. They used a good old excuse, you know, being like, oh, uh, I'll bring, I'll be back later today, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, the cash, nah. but, hey, I got to yeah. talk to my wife. Hey, I got to sleep on yeah, it. Exactly. I know, I know. Just it's like constant, just stumbling words. Fair enough. Yep. Uh, we made the trade, but if a guy, if an older gentleman named Jim, also goes by Jimbo, if he ever comes around asking for me, uh, just let me know. Okay. Should I be scared? No, 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 no. If he's just asking okay. for me, just let him, let him know. Look at this. Nice, man. Yeah. I already got a call with it on my way back. Do the lights work and everything? Yeah. Lights work, but I got to head out. I already got a call for it. So I'm going to get her used up. All right. I'll be looking for half that money. Yep, will do. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's get her moving. Sounds like this is a pretty urgent call, and there's a chance that the car goes deeper into the river because we got some rains, waters are rising, and you know how a river is. It's always moving, so the car's hanging on by a thread is what the phone call sounded like. This is probably not the best job to be just testing out the tow truck for the first time because if something doesn't work or I don't know how to use it properly and I'm really inefficient, but heck, we're going to have the horsepower. We're going to have the weight. There it is. Oh, yep. All right. I totally see what they're saying. Winch is released. Let's grab the cable and stretch it out. Oh, no, guys. The car is moving into the water right now. Quick. Oh, yeah. It's moving. Look at the tires. Look at the tires. Okay. Winch. Okay. Got the cable connected. It's starting to roll an inch into the water. The engine is completely submerged. Okay. In the water. Which way is the water going? Uh. Oh, it's actually not moving that fast today, but it's moving this way underneath the bridge. Okay. Here we go. We are going to winch it. Looks like we're gonna, we gotta go up this rock and then like the sidewalk curb. Here we go, winch, winch, winch. All right, real quick, I'm gonna open the doors, try and let water drain as much as it can. And then hopefully it gets lighter because we don't need the extra weight. All right, there we go. I got all four doors, lots of water is coming out. I mean, that adds at least a thousand pounds to it, which is quite a bit. And we don't need that extra weight. There we go. What the heck is that person doing? What are they doing? They're trying, don't hit my tow truck. Okay, we got over that nice and easy. Now just the front tires. Oh, I should probably shut that door. Oh, it's rubbing. That's okay. It's already totaled. We just need to get out of the river. Nice. Heck, that looks good to me. All right, man, what the heck are you doing? Get out of my way, man. What in tarnation? I'll just back up real quick. We'll let them go by. What in the heck? Look at all these cars. What a bunch of nerds. There we go. Nice and easy. We're just going to pull this on out. And heck, I'll leave the doors open. I'll help dry it out. And there we go. Wow. I don't even know the cars back there. Like, tow mater. We're getting sloshed around pretty good. We're getting, like, turns are tough. Let's see. I just got the payment in. And I charged 550 just because the riskiness of it and all. I got to pay boss man. All right, boss man. Here is 550, 275. All right. Thank you. You didn't have to do anything. All right. Anyway, I'm. Heading... I gave you an entire truck. That's Don't true. start with that. That's true. All right. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Reverse, reverse. Oh, we barely made it. I, I saw it coming down. I was like, okay, we can make it. Holy cow, I'm gonna have to check my drawers after that one. Boss man, boss man, boss man. What's going on? Hello, hello. How you doing? Pretty good, good, good. Let's see what is going on with the snowmobiles. Uh, I'm ready for snow, man. I want to take these on for a ride. Hopefully we don't wanna, sell them. You want to take these on for a ride? Yeah, we need snow first. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Well, I got but something big planned. Where is my uh garage money you need your money yep i do i'm gonna be spending a lot today all right i'll get you your money 
Here you go. Here is a $963. There we go. Score one for the boys back home. What are you, uh, do you have any plans today? Because I do. Yeah, I actually need your help real quick. Come with me. Okay. Oh, what do you got going on, boss man? Steve isn't here. He's not here for the next two days. I know, and this thing started leaking some oil. I don't know where it's coming from, so I threw it on the lift, and turns out this thing is really fancy. What I like to do is look, go underneath where it drips, hold your mouth wide open, and see, tell me, what? tell me what oil type. You'll, you'll get a good taste for it really man i'm not trying it could the be oil. hydraulic it could be brake it could be could be engine it could be coolant it could be anything. okay we'll wait for steve no worries oh didn't think you'd actually be that helpful okay. all right no worries well big cat i actually need your help today okay what's up i i bought something i bought some real estate you know i've been saying like i'm we're, i'm making good money here not complaining but if i want to be a millionaire here in you know not a hundred years from now i need to start buying some things that you know create some income so i bought a gas station you bought a gas wait <laughs> it's not what? it's not operable and that's why i need your help grab a chainsaw and meet me down Heck, just follow me there, okay? Okay. Do I need to bring anything beside a chainsaw? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe bring the zero turn mower. Okay. Yeah, we might put it through its bases. Hopefully we don't bend any blades. All right, I'll get a trailer hooked up and throw that on there. While he's bringing down the mower, I'm going to drive, show you guys what the heck is going on. But I, I got a gas station and we should be able to make pretty good money. And you guys have seen me drive down this road a million times before. But little did you know, there's a gas station right here. And I've kind of kept my eyes on it for a while now. And I finally, I was like, hey, I'm interested in that. It's abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I think, 25 years now. But I was kind of sneaking around here last night. I mean, obviously everything's not working and stuff, but the interior is held up. All the windows are still there. They aren't broken, but I spent $8,000 on the real estate. Like that's kind of what it was valued at. And then plus another 10. So it was 18,000 is the total for what I paid for this. And it's going to take some money to put into it. So what I did first, and thank goodness they delivered it. They said they would have it yesterday, but they finally got it here this morning. I rented this out for $2,000 for a day, but I think it's going to make short work of cleaning up this place. So out of pocket, we've already spent 20 grand and we haven't even opened her up. There's obviously going to be a lot of maintenance things. I'm going to have to have people come in, get all this work in and serviced and, you know, all the things that go into a gas station. But my idea is in the end, it'll be producing gas. And guess what? I don't got to pay gas for the rest of my life. I'll just pull into here and fill her up. Well, this thing's like a forestry mulcher tree eating son of a gun. So let's fire her up. Let's get her warmed up. Man, this thing was not easy to load up. It should be. It's a zero turn. Yeah, well, the issue is look at these front tire width and then look at the ramps. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty tough. Here, here's a chainsaw. Oh, okay. There you go. And honestly, we'll see what you need. There we go. Timber. Man, that thing ate that like it was nothing. Yeah, well, I still got to eat the stump. We'll see how it goes here. All right, look, I can open this. It'll shoot everything really fast. I think it'll eat it faster, too. All right, here we go. We are eating away, boys. And you're tearing up the ground. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to the ground. So that way all the stumps are gone and like you don't have like stringy stuff left, which is really nice. It's kind of like tilling up the ground. It, it just it just is supposed to sit above. I think I have it set a little too low, but that's all right. Yeah, the tree's literally gone. There we go. Goodbye, stump. Honestly, if you want to just start cutting down some trees and then I'll just get them when they're down. Okay. Sounds good to me. And some trees, they just make them disappear in like two seconds. Just like that one. See you later. Here we go. Stump's gone. And then the bushes should take no time at all. Boss man and I, we're going to knock this out. Let's get her going. Right. That was about 30 minutes of work and I didn't even break a sweat. How about you, man? Man, I've been sweating. <laughs> I changed my shirt. Same color, but this is a new one. No. Yeah. I saw a few times I was grinding up some stumps and I think I hit you a few times. Yeah. You were getting stuff everywhere, but it's okay. My glasses protected my eyes. So this place is looking um, Look, interesting. Looking great, I think. So here's what I'm thinking. Any feedback, ideas, love to hear them, but let me, let me kind of break down here. First off, we got grass growing through the cement. That's not great, but so we're gonna have we're gonna have two pumps here. And so I'm thinking driveway, right? Like here. So you know, somebody can pull off and then it's a nice easy. All right, I'm pulling through. All right, I gas up. All right, see you later. And then you just head out the same way. Do you have money for all this, right? Like yeah. you're not gonna be halfway working through this and you're gonna be broke? Yeah, yeah, it should be good. It, it will be expensive to get it running, but right now we're doing most of the work. Okay. 
As long as you're prepared for all this. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's make that driveway. And then we got to call some inspectors and, you know, we'll just go step by step. All right, let's get to it. So real quick, we got the driveway down. Again, this is kind of what I'm thinking. We're going to keep it small and clean and fast. So we're going to have a full-time employee working here that's going to pump gas for people. That way they aren't messing around and it is go, go, go. So when people come in, they can expect that if there is a car sitting here, they're going to be moving pretty quick. Boss man, I'm thinking if you can just throw out all that old stuff, it's probably like five years old and it has mold growing on it. Make up some new croissants, some donuts, you know, rearrange the back uh, shelves there and then get the register up to date. Here, how about this? You give me 25 bucks, I'll go to the waffle shop and pick some stuff up for you. There you go. 25 bucks. That's it. Yeah. Smart thinking. All right. I'll be back. Perfect. Just sweeping up here and boss, man. He's back. You got the waffles? I got the waffles. Perfect. Okay. Sounds like just got off the phone with three inspectors. The guy that's going to inspect the pumps is going to be here in 30 minutes. The guy that is going to go through the register machine and electrical, I think he'll be here around the same time. And then just the city inspector will be here after them. All right. That's why I don't own a gas station. Sounds like you have a lot of people that you got to get to come over here well i just spent two thousand dollars between the sod and the hedgerows and the concrete was another three thousand so five grand and like landscaping stuff starting to add up hey the trucker's here nice the oil tanker is here inspectors came by gave the alk that was another 250 dollars in inspector fees man what is this guy doing all you had to do was pull through right here but he's got a tesla that thing can turn tight yeah just get her pumping this is the first time we've had gas in in these underground tanks i think they said in 30 35 years. All right, man. All the hookups are working good. Thank you very much. You got her unloaded. Nice. Okay. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Well, that was a $3,000 bill for all the gas and stuff, but obviously we make quite a bit of money from like selling it. I make profit off it, but it costs something too. I don't get it for free. I think the gas station looks pretty good. Curious what it's going to look like when the sun goes down. I will show you guys that year later. I'm excited to get this open. I think tomorrow morning is going to be our first day. I just got to get an employee down here, which I think he's on his way. So we're going to do a like quick training with him, show him how everything works and I'll probably pull my truck through just to show how to pump it. Hey man, welcome in. Welcome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is where you're going to work. 24 hour shifts, seven days a week. Well, I pulled up my truck here and I'll just show you how to run the pump. So it's pretty simple. All you got to do is hit the button. It'll automatically get charged to their card that we have in there. And then nozzles are a little old school, but we're keeping everything old school. We have water hydrant here. Some, if you need to wipe, wipe off somebody's windshield, do anything nice for them. We got that there. Coca-Cola machine, some used tires. And then we have this free water jug. So if anybody needs water, they just a free one, take it from there. We have some pastry items. And here's a broom and the register is pretty straightforward too. It's kind of old school. Good luck tonight, man. We're officially open at midnight. Well, we got our employee. Pretty awesome. We're going to see how this goes. Kind of nervous, but I think it's going to be a big hit. Hey, Jeremiah, can you open up the register? I got to see how much we made. And then once you're done with that, can you move your car to the back? Nice. We made 450. First night is a good representation of what we're going to do over time because there's a little bit of hype I created when we were building it. People were obviously wondering what the heck this is. And Jeremiah said a lot of positive feedback from the customers so they liked it i better get to actual work and jeremiah's running the gas station boss man i'm ready to work all right nice to see you here on time like always and i got some money for you for the parking garage it was a bit of a slower day here's 500 dollars. it's still better than oh, nothing yeah dropped off a bit i think that's lowest in the past month yeah it definitely is but i think it's just the time of year you know halloween just passed speaking of which we gotta get this place unhalloweenified so all these pumpkins we gotta get them off and just put our regular like lampshades on here Geez, that was some good work, man. Looks yeah, a lot cleaner. Exactly. I, like, I, I love the decorations, you know, but it's there's something just nice with that classic look. It's, it's not as, like, chaotic. Yeah, a lot of people appreciated us going all out for Halloween, being festive, but after a while, the pumpkins start to smell a little bit. They start to, you know, kind of get a little, I would say, saggy, and they just look bad, and then obviously it's past Halloween. Oh, I'm getting a call real quick, boss man. I got to take this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could do that. That sounds great. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I appreciate it. All right. But hey, boss man, guess what just happened? You won the lottery and you're going to give me half the money? Uh, no, but if that happened, still no. Anyway, a bank just called me and said they want me to repossess one of the vehicles that they lent out. Wait, a repo job? You do that? I thought you just do like little tow jobs. No, I towing, but I wanted to get in repo. But yeah, you, you got to have connections. And I think these pay a lot better. He didn't tell me exactly how much because this is my first job. I didn't want to, you know, be too pushy, but I think it's quite a bit more. I just got to watch my back. They can be a little more aggressive. Yeah. Do you want me to come with you or you got to handle? 
around. Sure. Maybe bring the monster truck that might be scared of us. Okay. I'll, I'll drive that thing. You don't have to tell me twice. Here we go. Fire her up. Lights and sirens. Or not lights and sirens, but just lights are on. Everything looks good. And, and this is going to be, uh, yeah, my first repo as a towing business. Now we're towing and repo business. Let's, let's get her done. Hey, boss man, I just got the address for where we're going. I think this is right by your place. Right by my house? Yeah. Maybe it's one of your neighbors. 2019 Nissan Titan. Gray is the color. Does one uh, of your neighbors have one of those? My old truck was that. The one we traded in a few weeks back. Interesting. Here, we will... Let's go. We'll take a left at your house. Hey, real quick. Can I use the restroom? Fine. Go for it. Yes. All right. Let's see what Bossman's got in the garage today. Just his bike in here. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is nice. Bossman's house is pretty nice. Okay, where's the bathroom again? I don't come over here too often. Jeez, he leaves all his doors open. All right. Very good. All right, big cat. Sounds like the place is right here. Probably shouldn't have used the restroom before. Maybe after, but I had to go. I was going to say, they're just looking at the tow truck, the lights on. Hopefully they they're at work, coming. but yeah, yeah, they might know now. So, hey, do you know that this is your neighbor? This is like your across the street neighbor. Yeah, and this looks a lot like my old truck, man. Did you know he drove it or like, do you know anything? No, you were the one who did that trade. Like, I wasn't there when true, you traded. True, true. I wonder if it was with my neighbor and i just never put two and two together gotcha okay uh let's see let's get hooked up here all right we got that attached on there and i think we're gonna be good to go let's make sure one thing i this is my first one so boss man we got to make sure i jump up on here there's a little vin number looking thingy okay yes this is the exact truck are you able to like see the old owners of it to see if my name's on it or we will yeah i probably have paperwork that i got emailed over i'll have to look at my phone let's just get this taken care of before your, your okay. neighbor comes out and gets mad at us this is my first repo but i've seen quite a bit of repos on tv and i know probably a lot of them are staged and stuff but hey people don't seem too happy when they get their cars repo here we go winching up man this is definitely my old truck I'm seeing like where the scratches are and stuff. I, I remember hitting that rock. Here we go. Pull her on through. Looks good. Here we go. Everything's pulling good. Boss man's on my right with the monster truck. Let's see it. Step on her. And that thing rips. Hey, watch the fence, man. Watch the fence. I wanted to test out if it can get over and it. It does it with no problem. I built that fence pretty strong, but hey, that's a pretty big truck. So we're just going to leave this here and hope the guy doesn't come? I think we're going to have to hold him there because obviously we can't give him back to the previous owner and the bank just kind of waits to see if the people will pay or if the bank then has to sell this truck and then use that money to pay for the loan. Okay, so how do you get paid? Do you like go to the bank or? Yeah, I think, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I might be able to go to the bank to get, uh, man, this is my first time i you just figure it out step by step you're gonna have to figure it out because i want you to pay me and for that to happen you Let's first see. gotta get paid. i'll call the bank get a situation on the truck and ask about payment all right i'll be here yep that sounds good thanks mr smith appreciate the business all right boss man they they pay good get guess how much i got paid to do that uh 63 dollars and 22 cents okay guess a little more think about it it could have been pretty hard they could have stuck it away in the garage they could have came out fighting they could have came out you know frustrated and not letting us do it think okay guess like a little higher six hundred dollars double that 1200 so yeah i guess 600 each because we're splitting okay. it down the middle but 1200 bucks just to do that here's 600 and then we're just gonna keep her, the nissan parked right there for now sounds good yeah hopefully the guy doesn't come do you want your hook yep. back let's or? grab it off there we go thank you yep there we go is it okay if i borrow the zero turn you want to borrow the zero turn sure why i just I gotta scoot your... it down the road yeah i do have mine but it's it's already here and this cut's really nice and there's a little grass spot in front of my gas station that i gotta mow so okay yeah go for it oh yeah this is cut and clean and nice that's why i wanted to have this mower over here even though it's just a little patch it's gonna make it look so much better but i'm trying to get this done before the sun goes down here there's jeremiah he's working in there we don't seem too busy right now i kind of asked him at lunchtime how things are going he said really busy which is always good Blade off, lift up. All right, Jeremiah, good work today, man. Uh, yeah, I just got had to mow that up. I think it looks a heck of a lot better. And then, what's the profit for the day? Five fifty for just a half day. It is the okay, nice. Oh, there we go. Jeremiah's pulling in. 
Oh, I'm tired this morning. I did the night shift, so I got here at 10 p.m. What? It's now 7. So Jeremiah's taken back over. I finally gave him a day off. Jeremiah, good to see you. Everything's ready to go. Registers all squared away. I'm just going to drive the tow truck to work here. I think we might have some jobs today. If we got time, I think I got to tow one vehicle. And I cleared $900 from the last day. So we made $900 from the gas station. Really, really solid day. It was fun working the gas station too. That was my first time ever working a gas station that i bought so it was cool to interact with customers tell them i'm the owner and the regulars that come in they always get coffee stuff like that well let's get to our day job now where's boss man at let's see i restocked the vending machine where's my coke yeah we'll get a diet coke this morning i need some caffeine in me <sighs> oh boss man there you are yeah sorry i was i was outside just working on that forklift apparently we have to be checking these fire extinguishers like expire like since when Boss, man, that's like common knowledge, dude. There's like a little thing when it when the needle gets the red, you're supposed to like have somebody come inspect them and redo them. Yeah, I, I just bought new ones, so we're all good. But speaking of buying stuff, I actually got to pay you some money. I realized I was looking when doing the taxes and stuff, and I forgot to pay you one of the days. That uh, day you did the corn maze, yeah. I just kind of kept all the cash from the parking garage. So I must have forgot because I made so much money that day selling all your corn. You you act as if that's a good thing. Oh yeah. You, you took my corn. Okay, no worries, no anyways, worries. Let's anyways, pay up, big cat. You're 1,700. So that that was two days or that was the one day you missed? That, that's two days worth. Yes, okay. That's pretty good. I was going to say one day, that would be an all-time record. Well, do you have any work for me today? Otherwise, I got some ideas. You have some ideas? What does that mean? I was what, thinking I'm going to try and sell that fire truck. The fire? Ooh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I guess we don't really use it too much. And I kind of bought it because it was a good deal. And I thought, you know, we could use it. And if we don't, I'll just flip it. So I'm thinking about doing a little paint job on it, making sure everything's good to go. And then trying to sell it, put it out on the street. Okay. Yeah, you can have Steve paint that. I He'd be more than happy to. I was thinking like the old, you know, like the old fire trucks used to be like yellow and certain fire departments had, had yellow ones or red ones. Well, I'm thinking because this paint job's a little faded too. I'll just paint it yellow. It'll be a full new paint job and it'll look really clean. The thing I like about this truck, guys, is it just fires up right away. So that's really nice about it. We've had no issues with the air brakes, the air systems, all the tires hold air, which, you know, those, those can be kind of a pain in the butt. They're old tires and rims. So it's just not that easy. All right, let's get her repainted. Steve's going to get to work and I bought a strobe light for the front that's gonna be way brighter and way better and i think it'll look much better well sounds like steve's gonna knock out the paint job and install a few things on it what's really nice is you pay his hourly wage so he's gonna do it for free i just had to pay 200 for the light and the paint oh i'm so glad to hear that i have to pay money for you to make money that that is i appreciate that it makes boss me man. so happy yeah that's good what a nice guy okay well i got to take another break here and do a little toe job Dude, little tow job. Is it a repo or just a broken down vehicle? It, it's broken down. They just called and it's a long story, but yeah, teenage girl broke down and we got to get it taken care of. All right. Well, let's get Mac Daddy moving here. This sounds like a pretty easy job. They just didn't know if the car would be able to be picked up today or not. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to drop the hook. Why don't you grab it for it? Grab it back there and then hook it up. All right, guys, this is probably one. It's not that sketchy, but it's pretty bad. Like we are in the middle of the road, like just blocking traffic. We're going to have to do what we can do. Good thing we got our hazards and beacons. That's one thing about this truck that is really nice. It's way brighter than tow mater. All right, let's get this winch up on here. Nice thing is this thing will weigh what? Like 2000 pounds max. There we go. Let's winch it up. Just get the back tires off the ground. That's all I really want. All right, ma'am. Are you good back there? Okay. Yeah. Just put your seatbelt on. I'll heck I'll, I'll take you back. All right, everything looks good, and I think I'm just going to take her back to the gas station because right now I'm trying to convince Bossman that I can build a shop like next to his dealership, take people, their broken down cars there, and it's fenced off and nobody can break in. But right now we're just going to use the gas station. Jeremiah will keep an eye on everything, make sure nobody steals nothing. All right, let's just pull in here. I wish I would have made this back parking lot a little bigger, but there's room to improvement, and we can take those hedges out pretty quick. All right, we took the tension out of the cable, and we should be able to detach here. There's no gas in here. You ran out of gas. You're going to steer there, and I'll just push you. We just got to get it like 10 feet further. There we go. We went a little too far, but we should be able to gas it up now. We're going to wait to fill that thing up. I'm going to park. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to go back to work after this. I better make sure everything's going good with Jeremiah. All right, man. Why don't you jump in and try and turn it over now that it's full of gas? That might help. All right. Yeah, you just ran out of gas. That's it. 
and yep it'll be 300 dollars. perfect thank you all right well there she goes and jeremiah said everything's going good and he it's been pretty busy this morning he's been selling a lot of coffee well i'm not gonna turn down work and it was good we got her out of the middle of the road that is a tough situation to be in literally stuck in the middle of the road up a hill it's not like she could really push it the gas station was up a ways oh something looks different holy biscuits look at that that looks i'd love it i love a yellow fire truck it, it, especially like an old one it looks i don't know way more iconic because you just don't see yellow ones anymore boss man what do you think i think that you just did a tow job and didn't pay me oh yeah yeah i was mean to don't worry i, I would have paid you ah uh, yeah okay pay up then i'll let you know my thoughts here's 150 it was 300 dollar job it was, it was pretty Thank sketchy you. she had a utv ran out of gas in the middle of the road wait she ran out of gas why didn't you just fill it up I didn't have any gas on me. I'm going to take some pictures in it. How about you get out of it? I think that might devalue it a bit. Are you? Sh but like my shirt. No, do not so be beautiful. in the pictures. I'm going to listen online, dude. People are going to be like, who's this weirdo? And they won't buy it. All right, here we go. That looks good. Heck yeah, just a few. People are going to know what they're looking at. Let me get one more right here. And then, oh yeah, the strobe. Totally forgot. That looks so much better. Actually, here, let's jump in and see what she looks like. Ooh, oh yeah that's cool things fancy i'm gonna list it for twenty we we're gonna try and make a good profit here all right man sounds like somebody's coming to take a look at the truck he seems pretty serious yeah okay and that's i'll awesome i probably won't be back by the time we close so i'll just need the rest of the day off of course you will what a surprise all right see you later boss man here i'll shut the door so you don't have to hear me okay see ya all right big cat check it out Here's the old Tower One. It's a Mac fire truck. Just got the single axle in the back. Duels just freshly painted like 30 minutes ago. Oh, geez, man, you know your way around this. You used to be a fire chief, you said? Okay, well, I'll let you. Heck, here's the keys. Do what you want, man. You know more about it than I do. I'll move your dirt bike. All right, guys, we're going to let him jump in, take it over. He said he was a fire chief for one of the neighboring towns. I forget what it is. Oh, yeah, he literally like just jumped in this thing. He said right when he joined the fire crew, this was what they had. There he goes. He's right in the ladder like it's nothing. He's way smoother than me. I think he wants them, you know, make sure everything's working. Sounds like he's going to use it. He said he's got a lot of land and stuff, and this would be a perfect fire truck, and, and he has a lot of properties. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. He says he doesn't have fire insurance, and so because he's an ex-firefighter, he's just going to take care of it himself if a fire ever happens. All right, man, I got it listed for 20. Oh, 10? 10? That's pretty... Dude, that's like half of what I listed it for. Okay, how about we meet in the middle at 15,000? Shake on 15? All right, you got yourself a deal, man. I'll just follow you back home to your house, wherever you're going to take it, and I'll, I'll drive the dirt bike. Well, guys, we're $15,000 richer, and I get to ride a dirt bike home. Today was a good day. We're that much closer to a millionaire, which, again, is the goal of this series, to make a million dollars. Well, boss man let me borrow his car to run some errands here. And the first errand of the day is to pick up a truck for the dealership. There we go. Let's check it out. Boss man, like he, he loves to say like, hey, go pick up a truck and not tell me one thing about it. Sounds like he already paid for it. I don't know what he paid for it. So it's an F450. And of course it has six doors. He's been loving six doors. We had a lot of customers that have been asking about more six door trucks. And so this is probably why he's getting this. But for the most part, it looks really clean. Paint looks shiny, no chips. It's not lifted really crazy, so we shouldn't have any like suspension issues. Well, let's get headed down the road and the truck ride smooth for the most part. We'll see how it is on pavement. Everything's running good. All the lights work. Nice. I think this should be a good truck. All right, let's pull into the gas station here. See what Jeremiah is up to. I bet you Bossman already told Steve about this truck and he, he wants him to do a lot of work to it because he could make this thing like lifted and crazy looking. Well, Jeremiah, place is looking good, man. Thanks for all the hard work you're doing. Let's clear out the register here this morning. 850, not a bad day, not a bad day. We're going to break a thousand sometime. We just got to keep getting more customers. Wait, what's that? There's a dog in the back of my truck? What the heck? There's a dog in the back of the truck. Jeremiah, I never saw this. Hey, boss man, it's Spencer. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we got a little bit of an issue, man. There's a dog in the back of the truck. What do it, you mean a dog? It must be the owner's or it could be a stray dog. But why don't you call the owner of the pickup truck or the old owners, the sellers, and ask if there's, it's like a black and I don't know my dogs. Anyway, I'm pulling it now. Come take a look. Okay, one sec. Here he is. He's just hanging out back here, all calm. This is a literal dog. I, I thought you were joking on the phone. I walked around the truck plenty and never saw him. Maybe he jumped in last second. Well, it's going to be hard to find the owner. I, like, it's a big company. Uh, I was on, like, one of those things you were transferred to, like, five different what? phone lines. 
Try and figure out. For right now, obviously, we'll give them food and water. Hey, I always said we should get a shop dog. People would love like, it. Customers coming in with their kids and they have something to do. They can play with the dog. And then obviously, the dog would like meeting all new people. Well, okay. If if we don't find the owner, then we could talk about that. But okay, well, priority is trying to find wherever this thing came from. You try and find where it came from. I'm going to build him a doghouse. There we go. He really wanted to stay in the back of that truck. So it makes me think that he's not just a stray dog, but heck, maybe he is. All right. He, he wasn't that hungry, but he ate a little bit. Do you know how to play fetch or anything? I don't know. Grab the balls. I, I got him a little tennis ball. Here, go fetch. Do you go? Oh, he's going. Oh. Uh, he threw it at me and it bounced right back. Well, he's still sniffing it. That's a weird dog. Okay. As long as he stays here, I was unable to have any luck find this owner, but I'll keep trying throughout the day. I did send out some emails, so maybe we'll hear back. Yeah, for now, obviously, we're going to take care of him. But guys, if we end up keeping him and the owners don't want him or we can't even find the owners, then what should we name him? Any ideas, boss man? He looks like a Timothy. A Tim. Okay, you don't call a dog a human name. That's like, oh, hey, Bob. Yeah, Bob, you want to go in there? Hey, don't you owe me some money? I do owe you some money. You never forget about it. No, I don't. All right, let's see. Let's go to your safe here. You should just give me the code sometime so then I can just punch it in. You don't have to deal oh, with it. I will never do that. No worries. Man, I got some good news. Yeah, what's up? You're making a thousand dollars right here, right now. There you go. One day, a thousand buckaroos. I think that's a record. I, I was just talking to Jeremy. If I could make a thousand at the gas station one day, that'd be cool. Man, if you're making a thousand a day here and a thousand a day there, that's two, two grand. You become a millionaire in like three years by doing nothing. Well, obviously, I gotta work here. And oh, geez, come on. He's running around like crazy. Oh, oh there he is. Okay, yeah. Sit. Chill out. We really need a name for this guy. But okay, so I was looking at this thing. Uh, for whatever reason, they decided to give it to us with literally no oil in there. So we were just what? driving dry. That's not good, yeah. dude. The thing only has like 40,000 miles on it. It's a 20... Well, the oldest, the newest it could be is 16. What year is it? I think it's uh, 2014. I'll have to check the paperwork. But it, it looks like they just didn't put much oil in there. Not that... I don't know, like they would cheapen out. What's the plan for the truck, by the way? So, yeah, probably... Are you going to keep it stock? This. No, man. Steve's going to be working on this. He's just not in today. He's on this little mini vacation with his wife, so... He'll be back tomorrow, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what he's able to do. But I want to get it lifted, get the color change. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay. I have some work for you to do. Are, are you okay with that? And I know you don't like working. I love to work. I can do anything. You do? Oh, oh, true, true. You have experience with everything as well. Well, anyways, I overnight had a friend uh, just borrow my go-kart. Didn't pay me or anything. I just let them take it. Isn't that my go-kart? It's our go-kart. It's a shared okay, thing. You gotta let me know. Yeah, well, anyways, I didn't, so I'm letting you know now. But they are done with it, and they're just wondering if we could go pick it up. So you're going to go pick it up. 10-4. I'm going to take the six door then. Make sure she's okay. running good after our oil change. I think this thing has a backup camera too. Oh, it does? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So connect it up Let's to Let's check trailer. it out. Yeah, it had a fifth wheel camera too. Yeah, this is nice. This will be really easy to back up to trailers. Do you see me? Uh, yeah, I see you. There we go. Crank it over. Nice. There we go. We got her loaded up. I'm surprised boss man. Usually he's trying to always make money. Like, why didn't he charge the guy like to rent it? Especially a side by side. There's a lot of possibilities that somebody's going to wreck it. Must be a good buddy of his though. Dang it. Boss man just texted me. He said, fill it up with gas. And I'm just passing the gas station here. That's one thing that's kind of bad about having my gas station is I pay thousands of dollars to fill up the tanks down there and sell the gas. And boss man thinks that he can get free gas. Here we go. She's all filled up and let's head back. If you guys want to comment below that Jeremiah is doing a good job, he'd really appreciate all the support because, again, he's working 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the most part. I gave him a day off the other day. You guys saw that. But, heck, he's the hardest working one out of all of us. Heck, I haven't ripped this thing in a little bit. Let's take her out for a little joyride. Here we go. It's pretty bare bones, but it's got crazy suspension and it's pretty quick. Here we go. Rip around the pond. Heck, oh, okay. We're getting some air. All right, hold on. All right, we should be good. Come down this little hill climb. All right, let's see if we can climb one of these cliffs here. Floor it. Come on. Oh, she almost balked out, but we had the momentum. That's pretty awesome. Nice. There we go. All right, boss man. Made it back. Anything else you need me to do? No, I think we are good for the day. In 40 episodes, I went from a worn out limo and zero dollars in the bank to owning multiple properties with a net worth of over 100 grand. This is just the start of my challenge to become a millionaire.